inside the water tower of this building here. We can set for period number two between uh, the water tower walls of the building of Elmira Manor here on this Friday night. You guys can join us here in uh, the water tower, New York. My name is Jeff Barrett. I will take you through your action here this evening on the camera. It's the fabulous John Sloan, who has just uh, made that Eric Murphy, who slid over to uh, take over a camera here. John Sloan and myself got a good view there. We did have some issues earlier with the internet. Hopefully we got that straightened out. We do apologize if we can't hear you as we try to fix that for you. Uh, hopefully that will have it worked out. So all three of us played Presbyterian tonight, 318 for the Presbyterian Team Red Sex. That's the Golden City Biological Wolfen, led by Fabian Brenner. That was a good one. It does kind of mean that we're playing that for the team that didn't start the game off. Not that they they didn't have other
Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the Watertown Municipal Arena. We get set for the second game of two in a row here in Watertown between the home team, Watertown Wolves, and the visiting Elmira Mammoth just a couple hours down the road in Elmira, New York, making their first trip up in their inaugural season in the FPHL. I want to thank you for joining us here tonight. My name is Jeff Barrett. I will take you through all your action here this evening. Standing to my right, Josh Rowe on our camera for tonight's contest. Well, the Wolves was a big 6-1 win last night over the visiting Elmira Mammoth here in Watertown. Wolves got one goal first period, grabbed another one in the second period. Both those goals coming at just around the four minute mark. And then in, in the third period, the Wolves really opened up the floodgate, picking up four more goals. A couple of those coming just a few seconds apart late in the period. So the Wolves wearing a different uniform here tonight. Again, they are in blue, but it's a lighter blue trimmed in dark blue. And it's got the big W on the front of it. So different uh, look for our Wolves here this evening, and the Mammoth in their traveling uh, and home, I guess, purple uniforms. They got purple on here tonight. Our officials here tonight for our contest are wearing uh, pink striped shirts. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month here throughout the country on in this October. We're almost to the end of October, but it is... Uh, Breast Cancer Awareness a night, so our officials do have pink striped shirts on here this evening. Getting the starting lineups here very quickly from our house announcer, Brian Hunziger. We will turn you over to Brian for tonight's introduction. Starting at goal number 34, Trevor McCucci. Starting on the bench number 33, Chris Merriday. Starting on the bench number 25, Noah Lyle. Starting at a forward position number 94, Justin Levac. Starting at a forward position number 89, Yanni Marocos. And starting at a forward position number 23, Lance Hamilton. Head coach. Uh, there's a player from Mammoth I don't have yet. There's no numbers on it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's greet. Thanks, 
One more time, we want to welcome you inside the Watertown Municipal Unity for tonight's matchup between the Watertown Wolves and the visiting uh, Elmira Mammoth. Game two of a two-game set here between these two. Watertown 6-1 to one win last night over the visiting Mammoth. Again, we want to thank you. My name is Jeff Barrett. Okay, going to take you through your action here tonight. Standing to my right, Josh Rowe on the camera as he is each and every game. One more time, I do want to point out, it is a Breast Cancer Awareness Month, almost to the end of it. Our officials sporting their pink striped jerseys here this evening, your pink striped shirts, I should say. That's an awesome look for these guys. I'm involved with a program in uh, northern New York. I'm sure you have it throughout the rest of the country as well, called Real Men Wear Pink, where a bunch of us 
pledged to wear pink for 30 days. We try to raise as much money as we can as a friendly little competition as part of the Making Stride of a Breast Cancer against Breast Cancer. Ours in Watertown, New York is called Making Strides of North Country as we are in the North Country of New York State. So we're set for that second game between these two. As they said last night, the Wolves were able to get a goal in each of the first two periods before opening the floodgate in period number three, racking up four more goals on the way to that 6-1 to one win over the visiting Mammoth. Full slate of hockey games here tonight in the FPHL. We'll take try to keep you updated on those scores just as much as we can throughout the evening. A couple of games already underway in the league. Early going, uh, the Carolina Thunderbirds with a 5-2 lead at home over the Delaware Thunder. And the Motor City Rockers looking to pick up the second win in two nights against the Port Huron Prowlers. They lead that one 2-1. to one. That game is in the Port Huron. The Danbury Hattricks at home again this evening. They are up 2-1. to one over the Binghamton Black Bears. The Columbus River Dragons are in Mississippi to take on the Mississippi Sea Wolves. That game will start just a little bit later. So delay start to our game here. Not sure what the issue is. Maybe we have some standing water. We had that problem last night. Uh, it's a little warm here in the North Country. Hard to believe I could say that here at the end of October, last weekend of October, but it was relatively warm out. It's toasty inside the Watertown Municipal Arena, so we do have a little standing water, and that'd be right in front of the Elmira goalkeeper. So they are... Uh, Cleaning that up real quickly before we get started here tonight. So Trevor Bacucci for the second night in a row will get to start for the Elmira Mammoth at the other end of the rink, right-hand side. That'll be Travis Smith, his second start for the Watertown Wolves, picking up the win last night. First time these two teams have seen each other, a few of the veteran players on either side, it didn't take long for things to get a little ugly last night. Got a little chippy about midway through the first period. No big real problems, though. Good, clean hockey game last night. A lot of fun for the spectators in the house as we get started here tonight. Wolves control early. Elijah Wilson drags it in the offensive end, tips it down to Mercurio. Mike Mercurio goes all the way around the back of the goal, has it poked away by Parker Moscow. Moscow's going to send it out to Lyricos. Leoni Lyrico slides it forward to Hamilton. Hamilton played it forward. It went off a skate. Wolves will chase from there. Evan Carroll dumps it back, and it was taken away by Lyricos for a second. Couldn't control it. Grabcheck has it for Watertown. Drop pass there. For Elijah Wilson, just going to send that one all the way around. Centering pass from Mercurio. That was knocked back out to the half board on the near side. Now it's going to go all the way around, giving chase, poking it along. Was Mo Levesque, couldn't get it out of the zone, and it's controlled there. Now turning with it, Noah Wild brings it out, clears the zone. Wolves jump right back on it. Matt Brown's going to head right back to the offensive end, lets a shot go. That goes high off the blocker of Makuchi, and then came right back to the near side. Levesque has it. He's going to get tripped up, go down. No call from the official. Controlling the puck deep in their own end, sliding out with it was Lance Hamilton. Puck comes all the way down into the Watertown end. Lincoln Gingrich had it, almost gave it away, played it oddly off his stick, got it to a Rocco DiCostanzo who slid it forward, dumped into the offensive end, and carried on. For the Wolves, DiCostanzo gave ch chase. Puck comes all the way back out. It's going to come through to the near side. That one's going to slide right through the five hole of Smith and the... Mammoth are going to get the first goal here tonight, just 140 into the first period, and the Mammoth are going to take an early lead here in Watertown. Well, the puck just innocently carried in front of the goalkeeper and then poked along. Not even sure who's going to get credited with that goal here to start. 
but the Elmira Mammoth will strike first here this evening. One to nothing, just 140 into the frame. Puck carried out, sent across by Bailey, sent it out to Moscow. Moscow got it forward, then a collision on the far side. Couple players going down to the ice. Wolves look to come back the other direction. Fody has it, he'll drag it down to late penalty coming to the Mammoth. That goes all the way around. The Wolves get an extra skater on the ice and they score! Before they even got to the power play, the Wolves answer and they will sneak one behind Trevor Bacucci and the Wolves even it right back up. We've got two goals up on the board here. Just 2.25 into action here tonight and each team is going to find the back of the goal and both times it's just a matter of sliding the puck near the goal and catching the goalkeepers a little out of position or not prepared. Isaiah Crawford will get credited with the goal for the Elmira oh, Mammoth. Time of the goal, he said, well, 140. Then at 214 of the period, Santino Fodi will even it back up on another even strength effort. So we are tied at one. Less than three minutes played here tonight in Watertown. Face off controlled right back into the Watertown end, giving chase will be Anderson, and uh, Travis Smith sees him charge again. He'll cover up the puck, he'll hold on to it, and we will get a defensive zone faceoff for the Wolves at the right end of the arena. Near faceoff circle, Anderson in to the circle against Mike Mercurio. Mercurio won that one back to the side. Seaman with a very quick shot from an odd angle, with that one gathered up by Travis Smith, so we get a quick stoppage. Dalton Anderson again going to skate in against Mercurio. Mike Mercurio wins it back through his feet. That one gets poked behind the goal. Charlie Penn's just going to send it around to the far side. Elijah Wilson's going to lift it all the way around. Sam Rabchick will give chase. Rabchick's going to be the first one to it. Rabchick with a couple of goals last night. Lost his stick, but he kicked it to the front of the goal. Wolves drag it there. Got it down in front. Wilson couldn't get the stick on it. And Makuchi's going to jump down, cover that one up. And we get another quick stoppage in play. And now we got a couple of guys that have decided they're going to go. Can't tell from our vantage point. Looked like it was Mike Mercurio, maybe one of the players involved, and it was Mercurio. He'll go down to the ice along with Dakota Seaman. Seaman seemed to get the better of that one as I think he caught Mercurio off guard and just started unloading on him before Mercurio could uh, even see what was going on. Mercurio will head off to the locker room. Seaman's going to sit down. His uh, tempers flare very early here tonight. Less than three minutes played. Officials discussing the penalties here, but Seaman will sit down. As we said, Mike Mercurio is going to have to go back to the locker room. And waiting for one of the Wolves to come over here and serve the penalty. I think the Wolves players are arguing. Like we said, it didn't look like Mercurio even got a hand up or tried to get a fight. It looked like Seaman got a hold of him, just started to unload some punches on him. So I'm not sure if we will get offsetting penalties on this or not. But the... Uh, Officials are going to go over there, and we do have blood on the ice. That would be the indication. Obviously, the official just went over to the Zamboni room crew here in Watertown coming out to scrape up the ice, clean up that mess. So we'll wait for the announcement on the official penalties. And yes, we do have offsetting penalties here. Dakota Seaman and Michael Mercurio both going to go at 244 of the period for five minutes for fighting. So, five-minute majors to get things started. Less than three minutes played here in the Watertown Municipal Arena. Mercurio back to the locker room. As we said, a lot of other action going on in the FPHL tonight. The Danbury Hattricks at home again as they host the Binghamton Black Bears. That game knotted up at two apiece after one period of play 
in Danbury, Connecticut. The Motor City Rockers on the road this evening at Port Huron, Michigan to take on the Port Huron Prowlers. That is the end of period number two there. That game started early. Two to one is your score as the Rockers looking for their second win in a row over the Port Huron Prowlers. The Delaware Thunder on the road down in Carolina facing the Thunderbirds. They played in Delaware last night, then they switched venues for tonight's game. That game headed towards the third period. Five to two is your score. The Carolina Thunderbirds with the lead. And the other game in the FPHL here tonight would be the Columbus River Dragons. They are on the road once again this evening. They are in Biloxi, Mississippi to take on the, the Mississippi Seawolves. That game starts in just a little bit. Well, it's early in the season, but we'll take a quick look at our standings in the FPHL, the Empire Division, where the Watertown Wolves and the Elmira Mammoth reside. The Wolves have uh, three games in this season so far. They're 2-1 and one on the season with an overtime win thrown in there. Elmira flip side of that, 0 for 5 on the year, still looking for that first win of the season. And in all fairness, to uh, the Mammoth, they've been shuffling a lineup the first few weeks of this season. They're, this is their third weekend of playing in the FPHL this season. And they have been uh, bringing some guys in, shuffling the lineup around, changing some things, and getting guys into camp that they didn't have before. So it won't be long before Elmira can squeak out that first win. Obviously, the home fans here in Watertown don't want to see that happen this weekend, but it will happen Eventually, Elmira should be able to visit the victory side of the scoreboard. So it looks like cleanup is done here on the ice. We will get ready to go back to action. So these had two five-minute majors, one to uh, Dakota Seaman, the other to Mike Mercurio. Just 2.44 into the period. Dakota Seaman is going to get an unsportsmanlike conduct along with it. Mike Mercurio is going to add another two minutes to his, too, for instigators. So they've got a lot of stuff up on the board for these two players. So with the offsetting mages, we will skate all even here. Puck lifted to the far side. Evan Carroll races over, able to keep it in the zone, send it deep down into the corner, slipped by the stick. Bad Maven gives chase for Watertown, but it's controlled by Molevac. He'll come out from the backside, looks up ice to Hamilton. Hamilton, too far for him to reach. Charlie Penn's just going to settle the puck down. He'll play it off the boards. That one sent forward by De Costanzo. Noah Wildover to give him a little bit of a shot. Maratea controls in behind his own goal, settles the puck down there, looks to start the offensive rush for the... Mammoth, he'll send it out to Justin Levesque. Levesque took a big hit there and was able to slide the puck cross ice to Yanni Lyrico's drop pass for Anderson. That's broken up. Wolves look to get out of the zone. Ravchek down the near side. Jumps in there. Let's the quick shot go. That's up high. And Makuchi will hold on to that one. We'll get a stoppage of play 16-14. Left in the opening period here from the Watertown Municipal Arena. Well, the Wolves have been home for the last week and then this week to start off the 2022-2023 season. The Wolves will go on the road next week as they will head Friday night to Delaware to take on the Delaware Thunder. And then on a Saturday evening, they'll stay right there in Delaware. And then the Wolves will be on the road the following weekend as they go to Columbus to take on the Columbus River Dragons. Back home at Watertown will be on the 18th. Big hit far side as Bazarin got taken up into the boards and we're going to get a penalty here. 
Matt Bazarin is going to get called for roughing, and he will come over and sit down, and he is having a few words with the official. So Bazarin is going to sit down two minutes for roughing. The Wolves will now get an official power play with two minutes up on the board. Bazarin will sit down in the box. So a couple of uh, mammoths sitting to our left. Offensive zone faceoff. Wolves now skating five on four for the next two minutes. Just 15.53 remaining in the period. Fody into the faceoff circle. Wins that one from Anderson. State Anderson won that one back. That one's going to skip by Evan Carroll. So the Wolves have to come all the way back, go to pick it up. Elijah Wilson will... Hold on to it there. He'll leave it for Evan Carroll. Evan Carroll, one of the smaller defenders you'll find in the league, but very quick, and he's not afraid to jump in and mix it up. That one's going to get lifted out of the zone, so coming back to pick it up will be Carroll one more time, and Matt Brown will actually slide over to pick it up there. Carroll will stay to the near side. In on the forecheck for the Mammoth is Lance Hamilton. Wolves able to clear that one out. Evan Carroll down the left-hand side. Let's a shot go. That one goes high off the stick. Matt Brown continues to send it around to the backside. Evan Carroll gives it right back to Matt Brown. Far side. Brown turned with it on the faceoff circle. Drops it deep in the corner. Mike Mann controls. Tried to get a centering pass. That got off the skate. Hit the dasher behind. Stayed with Carroll as it came back out in front. Elijah Wilson has it. Drags it to the side of the goal. Now goes all the way around behind. Looks out to the slot area. Evan Carroll sitting there waiting for it. Puts a shot on. Puck down on the ice. And that one, a backhander is going to get up and out of play. Michael Mann, not sure how that one didn't go to the back of the goal. As he backhanded that one over a sprawling Trevor Mikucci, but he got it too high. That's going to get tipped and up and out of play. And we get a stoppage here, our first time out of the night. 14.44 remaining. This is our under 15. Media timeout here from the Watertown Municipal Arena. So back inside the Watertown Municipal Arena, the two goal scorers, Isaiah Crawford for the Elmira Mammoth and uh, Santino Fodi for the Watertown Wolves, each netting their second goals of the year, making it a 1-1 one, one game here, early going period number one from Watertown. Puck controlled behind. Dika Stanzo had it, tried to slide it back out in front. That one's intercepted. Now a shorthanded two-on-two down to the near side. Haletsi had it, tried to get a backhand. That was broken up. It's going to end all the way back up to Ryan Saris behind the goal with 26 seconds left in the Watertown man advantage. Saris going to hold on to it. Now he'll skate out. Moscow keeps it light on him. Long outlet pass to Maidment. Ben Maidment plays the puck outside the blue line. He lost it for a second, tried to drag it back, but the official standing right there quickly blows the whistle. We'll get an offside with 16 seconds left in the Watertown man advantage. Well, we talked about the Wolves finally going on the road after this weekend for a couple of weeks. The Mammoth will be home next Friday night. They will host the Binghamton Black Bears, and they'll host them on Saturday night as well for two games set there. And then they will travel to Danbury to take on the, the Danbury Hat Tricks. Puck to the near side. Sent all the way back. Jake Mortley had it. Not out of the zone. Wolves keep it in. Carroll just slaps it back to the corner. Giving chase there was Jake Mortley. That one's going to come all the way cross ice. Ends up right on the stick of Santino Fodi. Fodi goes right to the slot area. Slides the puck in front. Nobody there except a bunch of mammoth jerseys. So 
not able to slide it through. Then a quick shot from the far side. That's going to get swallowed up by Trevor McCucci, and that'll bring a stoppage in play with 13-26 remaining here in the opening period. Face off far side. Elijah Wilson's going to skate in the circle for Watertown. Late change here for the Mammoth as Mo Levesque, Yanni Lyricos, and Hamilton all make their way back out onto the ice. Lyricos skates into the face off circle against Elijah Wilson. Puck got centered, loose down on the ice right in front. My apologies there. Had a note handed to me. Apparently, we may be having issues again with the internet feed. We had a bunch of problems last night. We do apologize for that. Uh, and not sure what quite what the issue is, but they uh, we had a lot of problems last night. Seemed to calm down after a bit, and then things went smoothly from there. So just stick with us, and hopefully we'll get it straightened around if you are experiencing any problems. Becker digging for the loose puck. Wilson right on his backside as they'll battle for the loose puck. Payne had to poke it away, but the Wolves are going to end up with it. Came back out to Gingrich. Gingrich skates deep down into the zone, puts the puck right in front. That hit a body, never made it all the way through. Now control lifted out down to the near side. Laporte races into the offensive end, centering pass. Nobody there in a purple jersey, and then racing down the far side with a quick shot. That's going to be Sam Halesi, and that one's going to be gloved by Travis Smith and held on to. Face off to the far side, just to the right of Travis Smith. Parker Moscow is going to skate into the circle for the Mammoth versus... Uh, Looks like Rocco DiCostanzo will skate in for Watertown. Yes, he will. DiCostanzo wins that back through his legs, left it right there for Sarah. Sarah sends it out to the near side. Ben Maidmont into the lineup here tonight. Maidmont sends that one forward. That's going to rattle all the way around behind the cage. And then giving chase there to pick it up will be Matt Brown for Watertown in against Tim O'Connor. Held in the corner. Wolves come away with it. Brown tried to slide one towards the front of the goal. That hit a stick and then just trickles by on the right-hand side. On the outlet this time, Moscow got it out to center ice. Wolves will control from there. Colt McGuire had it for a second. And now Bazrin's going to take a high stick right across, or get a high stick, I should say, right across Rocco DiCostanzo's face. And DiCostanzo will head back towards the Wolves locker room. And Matt Bazrin, for the second time tonight, will sit down in the sin bin with 12-15 Remaining in period number, in period number So no official announcement here, whether this is going to be the major or minor version of the high stick. That came right across the cheek of De Costanzo. He very quickly headed right back to the Watertown bench. He is on the far side being treated by the staff medic or the medical staff here in Watertown. Uh, he is on the bench area just to the left as you head down the tunnel towards the Elmira locker room here tonight. And uh, he may have a bloody nose. They're looking at that. Got some tissue stuffed up there right now. So I believe we're going to see a five-minute major here to Bazrin. So the Wolves going to get another power play opportunity here. Just under eight minutes played in the period number one. Again, we want to thank you for joining us here from the Watertown Municipal Arena for tonight's action. My name is Jeff Barrett, taking you through tonight's game. Again, standing right next to me is Josh Rowe on our cameras here tonight.
Mercurio and Seaman, respectively, for their each team for Elmira and Watertown. Still in the penalty box is serving their five-minute majors for fighting. And right now, Bazrin also in the penalty box. He's waiting to hear from the officials what we've got with this. Well, it seems to be taking a second here. We're getting a, a conversation between these official scorers here and the official. This is taking a little bit for a simple high-sticking call, so I'm not sure what else is going on. But Yanni Lyricos for the Mammoth and Charlie Penns for Watertown having their own conversation right here, a cordial conversation, as they both wait outside the circle to see what we're getting. And we will have a double minor. I said five minutes earlier. I don't even know where I came up with that one. But we will have a double minor for the high-sticking. So four minutes up on the board. I had five minutes stuck on my head or for some reason earlier. So double minor here to uh, Matt Bazarin. So the Wolves going to get a power play. Skate five on four for the next four minutes. Puck one to the corner. Controlled there. Sent all the way out as it got up over the hand of Elijah Wilson. Evan Carroll is going to go back. Pick up the loose puck. Hamilton deep into the zone here. On the forecheck, Wolves look to race out down the uh, right-hand side. Elijah Wilson has it, lost it for a second, had to go back, pick it up in the corner. He'll drop the pass there to Matt Brown. Brown gave it back to Evan Carroll on the point. He'll send it back deep into the zone. Ca crossing pass for Fody. That's going to skip right by and back into the Watertown end. Long dump in right there to Mike Mann. going to skip over his stick. Matt Brown will give chase and... Uh, Mike Mann's going to end up with it. Got it to Fody. He'll send it over to Karen. Back down to oh man. Man back out to Carroll. And again, it's going to skip up off his stick. The Wolves have to get back on side. Dumped right back in. And they'll go for a change right here. Get some fresh legs on this power play. Back out to neutralize. Rabchick has it. Has to avoid a check. Steps inside. Now he'll just wheel back through center ice. Wolves have to get back on side again with 253 remaining in the power play here for Watertown. Pass to Rabchek, right through center, drops it for Maidment. Maidment lets the shot go. That goes off Payne Skate deep into the corner. Elmira goes in trying to dig it out. Maidment's going to jump into that pile as well. And then Payne able to rifle one the length of the ice. That's going to bounce right to the goaltender, Travis Smith for Watertown. He'll just leave the puck for Ryan Saris. Saris goes back to pick it up to a 26 left into the Watertown man advantage. Wolves taking their time. Ryan Saris now goes out to the right-hand side. Long outlet pass tipped forward into the offensive end. Controlled near side. Rabchek has it. He'll go to the slot. Goes to the far side. Drop pass for Saris. Let's the shot go. That hit a body. Went all the way behind the goal. Rabchek gets the rebound. Long, wrong crossing pass. Got it to Penzo. Let's the shot go. Puck down on the ice. Big save from Makuchi. But then he lost it in the big rebound. And the Wolves almost had another golden opportunity. Near side, Matias Telstrom has it. He'll go cross ice to Fody. Fody lets the shot go. That one booted aside by Makuchi. Now Bed Maidman taking for the least puck in the corner. He's got Parker Moscow all over him. Signs it back or sends it back, I should say, to uh, Fody. That was going to get popped up in the air. Fody's centering pass was intercepted. Came out to the blue line. Carroll sends it right back in behind. Controlled there by Ben Maidman. Maidman digging for the loose puck now as he and Moscow will fight for it. It's going to come hard off the boards. Penn's not able to get a stick on it. So that'll go all the way down into the Watertown end. 116 left in the Watertown man advantage. Maidman lost it on the way into the zone. And again, the Mammoth able to just send that one the length of the ice. Evan Carroll comes back, picks up the puck in behind the goal, slides it out, got it to Fody. Fody very quickly jumps into the zone, goes cross ice to Matt Brown. Brown puts it in front, and a big rebound right back out. Mike Mann couldn't get a shot off. Wolves wrap around, didn't work, got poked along. Wolves trying to keep it in. Lyricos is going to end up with it with 45 seconds left. He's just going to skate back towards his own end. Puck never came outside the zone. Now it does, and that'll go cross ice to the corner as the Mammoth tried to get some fresh legs out here with 30 seconds left 
in the Watertown man advantage. Elijah Wilson turns with it, puts on the afterburners, right down through the center of the ice, drops it for Matt Brown. Brown controls, centering pass all the way across to Evan Carroll. Carroll dumps it deep into the corner, got it to Telstrom, back to Carroll. Carroll fanned on the shot, but got it right back again. Now he'll put a shot on that, missed on the near side as it was redirected. Matt Brown controls. Brown comes back to the blue line, seven seconds left in the Watertown man advantage. Drop pass there for Wilson. Wilson again into Telstrom. Telstrom had a couple of goals last night. Quick shot from the far side from Matt Brown. That deflected up into the air. That's going to come off a body. We are back to all even here as the Mammoth able to kill off a four-minute major to Matt Bazarin for high sticking. Ryan Sarris back the other direction. Got it to Matthias Telstrom. Telstrom rifles one from the far side. Rebound controlled from behind by Watertown. Came out to the near point. Kept in the zone by Colt McGuire. Now it gets kicked along. Mar Moscow able to get it out of the zone. McGuire comes back. Sam Halesi down to the offensive side. Centering pass. They shoot and they score. Sam Halesi to... Look like Isaiah Crawford, and Crawford may have his second goal of the evening. And it will be Isaiah Crawford's second goal of the night, his third of the season on a pass from Sam Haletzi to make it 2-1 to one in favor of the visiting Elmira Mammoth here tonight in period number one. 12-21 officially the time of the goal. Crawford with a couple of goals puts the Mammoth back in front. Two to one here. Puck carried out. Evan Carroll's just going to dump that to the offensive end. Centering pass came back to Matt Brown. Tried to drop it back to Ben Maidment. That one was turned aside. Maidment took a hit. Got it back to Brown in front. He'll fire one. That goes off a leg, and then it's lifted out of the zone. Maratea able to send that one deep into the Watertown side. Back to get it. Will be Brown for Watertown. He'll slide that one forward. Got it to Rocco DiCostanzo. DiCostanzo gains the zone near side. Had it poked off his stick, and then sent in from just inside the red line was Penns as he'll dump it to the zone. Wolves going for Wholesale changes, outlet pass for Mola back, and he would have been one-on-one, -on -one, but the pass was too far for him to reach. The Mammoth able to keep it in the zone very quickly. Trevor Lord tried to get it ahead. Gets sent right back in on Travis Smith. He'll turn it to the corner. That one poked along by Lincoln Gingrich, lifted out to center, and then lifted right back into the Watertown end. Levesque intercepts the crossing pass, drop pass for Laracos as they come off Center ice, centering pass. Liriakos fell down trying to go to the corner. Trevor Lord will control for Watertown. Skates out to the right-hand side. He'll lift that one off the glass way up into the air. Giving trace. Tyler Becker sends it right back out to neutral ice area. Seaman all over the back of Lincoln Gingrich. Gingrich goes cross ice to uh, Lord. He'll send it forward to Rabcheck. Tipped it into the offensive end. Played along there. Gingrich has it. Got it over to Santino Fodi. Fody tried to drag it through the legs. Mo Levesque takes him off the puck. Controlled near side. Saris able to lift that one in. Becker knocked it down. Sends it cross ice as it comes back through neutral ice one more time. Right through the faceoff circle. Wolves controlling there. Saris has it behind. Lost it for just a second. And now we got a penalty coming to the Wolves as Colt McGuire is coming skating over. They're going to get a cross check from an official who was way past mid ice, made that call all the way down in the corner. That one a little behind the play, but unless he had a great eye on it, he just explained it to Matt Brown, and Matt Brown shook his head okay, and they walked away from it. So apparently Brown agrees with what the official had to say. So Colt McGuire will sit down for two minutes at 534 remaining in the first period as the Mammoth will get a second power play here this evening. This will be the first true power play. Their other power plays have been offsetting. The way they score it here, if there's penalties, obviously the computer 
immediately goes to a power play, even though you have offsetting penalties. And it racks it up in the official score that way, but this is the first time that the Mammoth will have the extra skater, five on four. Face off controlled by Trevor Lord behind, tried to lift it out of the zone, got it forward. Then it was poked ahead by Michael Mann. So Parker Moscow will go back, pick it up from there. Slides out, gets it back to the near side. That's going to go off a stick and up and out of play. Anderson was racing in to the offensive end, tried to slide it past the defender, and that went off the stick and up and into the netting here. If you've never been to the Watertown Municipal Arena, our netting goes all the way around the ice. So a puck along the side sometimes does touch up against the netting here, which causes for some odd delay of game sometimes. It actually hangs out over the ice. By the time you get to the top of it, it's got to be a foot out over the skating surface. Puck near side. Deanna Yurikos comes down. Drop pass. Let's a shot go. That goes off the glove of Travis Smith. Rebound goes in behind Trevor Lord. Will give chase. Anderson's going to beat him to it. Dalton Anderson has the puck. Got it right back from Payne. And let the shot go one more time. Payne has to chase it as the Wolves are able to lift that one out of the zone. Parker Moskal at his own blue line. Turns with it. Skates by Matias Telstrom will take it back. Dika Stanzo and Telstrom here with a shorthanded effort. And Dika Stanzo lost the puck on the way in, got inside the faceoff circle and lost the puck there. Laricos back the other direction, comes down the near side, puts on the brakes at the half board, controlled there. Got Gingrich all over him, sends it to Mola back in the slot, drops it back to the near side. Laricos has it, got it all the way back to the far side. Levesque lost it. And it's going to come to Matias Telstrom. Telstrom just going to look up the ice, find an open lane, and ascend it the distance with 26 seconds left in the man advantage. Tim O'Connor works out from behind his own goal, turning, slides it up to the near side. Coming forward with Sam Haletsi. Haletsi will go cross ice. Seaman races in, tips it to the corner, and they're going to be offside. <laughs> So Myra's offside into the offensive end with 12 seconds left in the man advantage. Timeout on the ice, our under five media timeout here from the Watertown Municipal Arena. So 346 left period number one here from Watertown. Two to one is your score. The Elmira Mammoth enjoying a one goal lead over the hometown Watertown Wolves. Offensive zone faceoff coming for the Mammoth here with 12 seconds left on their power play. And my apologies, the faceoff will come outside the Watertown zone, outside the blue line. Mike Mercurio against Parker Moscow. Moscow won that one to the side control. Comes to McGuire for the Mammoth. He'll step inside. Isaiah Crawford already with two goals tonight. Tried to play it forward. Went off his skate. Penalty is over. We are back to all even. Skating around the backside. Looking up ice. Tom McGuire sends it up forward as Bazarin's able to send that one. And that took an odd bounce off the corner boards and slid right out in front of the Watertown keeper. Travis Smith, so he will cover that one up. He'll hold on, and we get a stop in play. Offensive zone faceoff one more time for the Mammoth here. That one won to the side by the Wolves, lifted all the way up. Foot race down the ice and taking a shot at it, just chipping at the puck. Well, Sam Rabchek lifted it right over the goalkeeper, but it missed on the top side of the cage. Bazarin has it, goes across, excuse me, that was wild to had it. Comes over to the near side. Parker, Moscow shoots and scores! Moscow, a nasty rip shot from just inside the right face-off circle, and he's going to make it a two-goal lead here for the visiting Mammoth here tonight. So 
So another even strength goal here right at the 17 minute mark. And Elmira will take a three to one lead over Watertown early going of this contest. Puck back into the offensive end. Matt Brown gives chase for Watertown. Gives it to Ben Maidman. Maidman let a shot go. Makuchi able to turn that one aside. Matt Brown comes up with the rebound. Wheels outside the faceoff circle. Far side turning with it. Lost the puck there. Becker took it away. Wolves got it right back again. Quick shot from Maidman. That went off the leg of Makuchi. Now down deep into the corner. Maidman giving chase from there. DeCostanzo had it, had it lifted away by Moscow. Moscow not out of the zone, though. Wolves send that one right back in. Big rebound for Makuchi. He's to jump out afterwards and just swat it away with his stick. Keeping it in the zone with Lincoln Gingrich. He'll get it back to Matias Telstrom. Telstrom put it in the center. The big collision there. Puck loose on the ice. And somehow Makuchi's going to find that through a bunch of traffic. He'll hold on to it. And we'll get a stop in play. 2.03 left opening period here from Watertown. And the Wolves with another opportunity to stick one home. Just couldn't get it there. A lot of traffic in front, but not able to take advantage. So the faceoff's going to go to the far side. Molavec in against Fody. Fody puts it in front, and he got it to Michael Mann, and Mann is going to get the Wolves back one here with just over two minutes to play in period number one. Fody to Mike Mann. And Michael Mann will get his third goal of the year. Santino Fodi, fifth assist on the season as the Wolves are able to get one back and get within a goal with just two more minutes to play. Face off controlled. In behind, McGuire has it. Sends it back to the far side, lifted forward. McGuire steps inside, gave it to Hamilton, lost the puck there. Anderson has to go pick it up. Hamilton, excuse me, centering pass, knocked down. That one's going to get lifted. We will get an icing on this one with 1 to 36 remaining in the period. So, time of the goal 17 of 59. Officially, Michael Mann making it 3 to 2 as Watertown gets back within a goal. All our goals have been even strength affairs here tonight. Quick shot coming from Laracos after the faceoff. That one to turn to side, 130 left in the period. Wolves have the puck looking for a long outlet pass. It's behind Michael Mann, but he comes back, picks it up. He'll gain the zone near side. He'll battle down into the corner. Turns with a loose puck, drop pass there. Got it to Telstrom. Telstrom went cross ice, puck down in front for Watertown. Now tipped out the near side. Yanni Lyricos has it pinned up along the boards. He and McGuire battle for the Mammoth trying to stick it out. They will get out of his own. Ryan Saras sends it cross ice. Got it to Colt. McGuire dumps in the offensive end. A minute to play in the period. Yanni Lyricos just going to take the puck in behind his own goal. No hurry to come out. He was chased out from a behind. Wolves trying to keep it in the zone. It does get out over the blue line. Comes all the way across ice. The Wolves almost caught the Mammoth in a line change, but it didn't quite work out that way. Rabchek sends it in the offensive end. McGuire has it. He'll chase all the way behind. Turn sends it back to the near side. It's gathered up here by Seaman. Seaman tried to slide it forward. Wolves able to keep it in the zone. They get one more opportunity, but coming out the far side was uh, Parker Moscow. He'll lift that one down the ice. 20 seconds left. We'll get an icing call. So the Wolves are going to get another offensive zone faceoff here with 20.7 seconds left in the period. So the faceoff is going to come back into the Elmira zone. It'll go to the right-hand faceoff circle just to Trevor Micucci's left-hand side. And just as I said that and they set up, they changed their mind and they skate over to the near side. And now the officials have a discussion. One official is pointing to the right-hand circle. One's pointing over here. And we have players from either teams just standing sort of in the... 
middle of the ice, and now we've got a Well, apparently we had some kind of debris uh, on the ice on the far side. Not sure how that happened. Obviously, they're asking people not to throw anything on the ice, but there's netting all the way around this building. You'd have to be pretty much a magician to be able to do that. Face-off controlled inside the zone now comes outside with 13 seconds left. Trevor Lord's just going to rifle it in from outside the blue line. Makuchi's going to grab that. He'll hold on to it with 9.7 seconds. So one more offensive zone face-off here in the period at number one. Three to two, your score as the uh, Mammoth able to get three goals, period number one, two from Isaiah Crawford to get things started here tonight. Face-off stays in the zone. That one's going to get kicked out down the ice. It will go. Trevor Lord has to come back, pick it up, and that will do it for period number one as he'll just lift that one down. The horn will sound and bring an end to the first period here in Watertown. Well, the Mammoth doing just what we said they had to do. They've been shuffling their lineup. They've been trying to get different guys in. The first two weeks of the season, here we are, week number three for them. And tonight, they are continuing to work on that. It looks like they've started to gel a little bit better. They've seen some good passing, and they have taken advantage here tonight, netting three goals in the period number one. The first one coming at just 140 of the period, as Isaiah Crawford was able to slide one five hole on Travis Smith to make it one to nothing in favor of the Mammoth. It was just a minute and 14 seconds later as Santino Fodi would even that up with a even strength goal unassisted. That made it one to one. Isaiah Crawford got his second goal of the period, 12-21 of the frame, assisted by Sam Haletsi and Parker Moscow. That made it 2-1 in favor of the Elmira Mammoth. That came out of the even strength effort as well. And then Parker Moscow nets the third goal of the night for the Mammoth, making it 3-1 on an even strength goal, assisted by Matt Bazarin and Noah Wild. And the Wolves would finally get one back at 17.59. Michael Mann on a nifty little pass from Santino Fodi. And that would make it 3-2. to two, And that's the way period number one will end here in Watertown. So 3-2 to two is your score. After 40 minutes of play, we'll take a quick look around the FPHL. Other games in action in the second period. The Danbury Hattricks and Binghamton Black Bears knotted up at two goals apiece. In Port Huron tonight, the Motor City Rockers taking on the Port Huron Prowlers. Two to one is that score. That game late in period number two. The Delaware Thunder visiting the Carolina Thunderbirds tonight in the Winston-Salem, North Carolina. In the third period there, that score seven to two, the Thunderbirds with a lead over the Delaware Thunder and the Columbus River Dragons and the Mississippi Seawolves. That game in Mississippi this evening just getting underway in that contest. Just getting underway in the first period. So they're just about halfway through the first period. Columbus a 2 to nothing lead over the Mississippi Sea Wolves. Your score here in Watertown, 3-2. to two, The Elmira Mammoth leading the way after 20 minutes of play here in Watertown. We're going to take a short break here. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes for period number two between the Watertown Wolves and the visiting Elmira Mammoth. My name is Jeff Barrett for Josh Rowe on the cameras. We'll be back in just a couple minutes.
Welcome you back inside the Watertown Municipal Arena for period number two between the visiting Elmira Mammoth and your Watertown Wolves. Three to two the score after 20 minutes of play. The Mammoth with the lead throughout the first period of play here in Watertown. Two goals from Isaiah Crawford, one from Parker Moscow. Wolves getting a goal from... Michael Mann, as well as from Santino Fodi, the two goal scorers for Watertown. We do apologize. We are having internet issues here in the building again tonight. Uh, if it keeps dropping out, if there is an issue, don't worry. We are uploading the game, or recording the game, I should say. I'm not. Eric is. I don't do that stuff. I just talk. Uh, Eric Thorstein, the Thunder Force Communications, is... Uh, Recording the whole game. It's not dropping out here in the arena, just out on our feed going out to YouTube. We are having some issues, so just stick with us. It'll probably pop in and out a couple of more times. Hopefully, we will get that fixed, but the game is being recorded. You can watch it in its entirety a little bit later on, or if you try to refresh your computer or TV that you're watching on, you may get it to pop up and have no issue. Puck back into the Watertown, and Mercurio will carry for Watertown as we go back to action here. Period at number two, Wolves trailing by a goal as we get started for the second period. My name is Jeff Barrett, take you through your action here tonight. Josh Rowe on the cameras, quick shot coming, and that one's going to get gathered up by Trevor McCucci. He'll hold on to that one, and we get a quick stoppage in the play. Wolves got real estate. Ashes came in, and Daniel well, a full slate of games in the FPHL uh, this evening. We'll get you up to date on that during our first media timeout in just a few minutes. Face off far side. Parker Moscow skating into the circle against Mike Mercurio. Mercurio won that one back through his legs. Quick shot missed on the far side. Big rebound came all the way back out through neutral ice. So Elijah Wilson slides back to pick it up for Watertown. He will turn with it, drop pass there. For Evan Carroll, Carroll slid it forward, trying to get it onto the far side. Comes out to uh, Matt Bazarin. Bazarin carries the puck down the left-hand side, trying to get it to Moscow, let a shot go. That one easily turned aside by uh, Travis Smith. That's going to go length of the ice. Icing was waved off, and the official had his arm in the air. Now, I'm battled by, baffled by that one. Thought we were going to have an icing call against Watertown. I think, it, in my humble opinion, it was an icing call, but the, at the last minute, the official put his arm down to the uh, dismay of the entire Mammoth bench. They were up in arms, yelling all the way across the ice at the official. And uh, Trevor McCucci, you now see, talking to the official, and he's asking, you could tell he was asking why, the way he was holding his hands out. Puck comes back to Colt McGuire off the faceoff. Rebound as it hit a skate in front. Maidment has it. Maidment slid it back into the corner. Got it to Matt Brown. Brown got it back. Maidment let a shot go. And that one's going to get swallowed up by Makuchi. And uh, we'll get another stop in play. Faceoff's going to go to the far circle just to uh, Makuchi's uh, right hand side. D. Costanzo skating into the circle for Watertown in against Sam Holetsi. The puck gets sent around behind. 
came all the way to the near side, and uh, Colt McGuire deep into the zone, has the puck, sends it across, hit a body, never made it all the way through. That gets sent around to the far side, keeping it in the zone was Ryan Saras. Puck goes down in the corner, Alessi gives chase him there, take a huge hit from Ben Maidmet. And now Matt Brown controls, tried to slide it out to Deca Stanzo. That one broken up. It will go back the other direction. Alexi's pass was behind him. So Will's able to take that right back. Maidman steps inside the blue line. Tried to put it in front. That hit a body. Will's able to keep it in, though. Colton McGuire has it over here. Alexi pokes it past him. Back out to neutral ice. Back down to the Watertown side. Trevor Lord has it for Watertown. He'll look forward. Got it towards the front, but sent right back the length of the ice. By Payne, rolls it along, out left pass, they shoot and score! Michael Mann's going to get the assist as he will slide it over to Santino Foti, and Foti's going to get his second goal of the evening, and we're knotted up at three goals apiece. With less than three minutes played in period number two. Santino Fodi gets his third goal of the year. Michael Mann will add another assist. And there will be an officially in the second assist. That thing was set the all the way from center ice, and somehow Michael Mann was able to get it slided across the goal mouth, and Santino Foti right there just one-timed it to the back of the goal. His second goal of the evening, and third of the season, start the Liriakos Karasek 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 back through his own end, sends it out to the far side. Noah Wild tipped it forward. He came right back into the Elmira end. Moscow plays it off the boards. Mo Levesque had it. Now a battle for the loose puck. Goes all the way across ice. Michael Mann's just going to tip it back into the offensive end. Rose had to get back on side. So Noah Wild controlled behind his own goal. Left the puck there. Nope, he'll hold on to it. Now sends it around to Yanni Lyricos. Near side, Lyricos sends it up the board. Able to be kept in the zone by Elijah Wilson. Now it's going to skate all the way around the back. Bodhi, the goal scorer, ends up with it. Noah Wild took it away. Elijah Wilson had it, got it back to the stick of Luke, or excuse me, Lincoln Gingrich. Gingrich set that one on. Sam Rabchek in on the play. This one's going to get lifted all the way out to center ice. Gingrich settles it down, gives it to Lord back on the near side. Lord sends it in. That goes through the legs of the defender all the way onto the goalkeeper, Makuchi, and he'll have to drop down, cover that one up, and we'll get a near side faceoff. 16-25 left, period number two, and Santino Fodi. Credited with a goal, assisted by Michael Mann, and the third assist will go to the goalkeeper, Travis Smith, who sent that one from his own goal mouth the length of the ice. I thought maybe it was touched on the way through, but Smith will get credited with an assist here, the goalkeeper helping out his own function here tonight as he was able to slide one all the way down the ice. Somehow finding Michael Mann going forward, and Mann just slid it across from right to left, and Fody buries it in the back of the goal. The Wolves knotted up. Big hit right along the side of the goal, and that's going to come off to Mooring, and we'll get a stoppage in play. A couple players colliding going by, and Makuchi's net's going to come off. So the official's taking a second to fix that. They'll get that back on. So the faceoff looks like it's going to come to the near side. Elijah Wilson into the faceoff circle for Watertown in against. But well, let's see, Puck came back through center ice. Mike Mercurio has it. He'll get it over to the near side. Evan Carroll went cross-lace. That was knocked out by Tim O'Connor. 
Puck back the other direction. Wolves knock it down, but it heads right back to the offensive side. Dragging it out, letting a shot go. That goes off the blocker of Travis Smith. Not out of the zone. McGuire able to keep it in. Puck slides right in. Smith's just going to swat it towards the corner. Now giving chase will be uh, Charlie Pens. Pens gathers up the loose puck. He'll look out of the zone, slid it forward to Rabchick. It's going to go off Rabchick's stick down into the... The corner of the ice turning with it there is McGuire. Slid it out past Oletsi, and it goes to Colt McGuire for Watertown. He'll dump it into the offensive end. Becker's going to turn with it in behind his own goal for Elmira. Now he'll swing back one more time, and pressure coming from Rocco DiCostanzo. Almost took it along, and it came up along the side of the goal, and Makuchi thought better of that. He'll drop down, cover that one up, and we get a quick stoppage in the play. So my confusion on the number earlier, Dalton Anderson wearing number 20 tonight, not 28. Long crossing pass for Lyricos down the near side. Let a shot go. That went off the side of the goal. Rebound slips right out in front. A big collision between two Watertown players as... Matt Brown went down to the ice. Looks like it was a knee-on-knee -knee hit. He fell down. He'll get up slowly. Comes back to his stick. The, the Mammoth able to keep the puck in the offensive end. Came out to Molovac. Comes to the front of the goal. One-timer. That one turned aside by Trevor Smith. Kept in the offensive end, though, by Payne as he was able to decide that one forward. Now it comes all the way out and gets sent right back. Colt McGuire will gather it up for Watertown. He'll go cross ice to Cyrus. Cyrus, a long outlet pass. Dika stands on near side, had it poked off the stick by Mo Levesque. Levesque centering pass to Crawford. Crawford streaks down to the left-hand side. Crawford fell down on the way to the goal. He's got two goals already this evening for the Mammoth. Now Maidman back the other direction. Which should be Telstrom down, lets the shot go. Someone turned aside. By Makuchi, loose puck in the corner. Mortley has it. He'll battle for the loose puck with Mo Levesque. Coming away with it is Noah Wild. Got it to Lyricos. And then going down is Noah Wild. And we're going to have a delayed penalty here to Jake Mortley. He and Noah Wild collided. And Wild went down to the ice. And very quickly, Cole McGuire. Or excuse me, Jake Mortley knew who the penalty was for, so he's going to go over and sit down for two minutes. Well, we got a timeout on the ice, our under 15 media timeout here from the Watertown Municipal Arena with 14.07 left to play. Period number two knotted up at three goals apiece. Looking around the FPHL one more time in period number two, with just two minutes left in the period. The Danbury Hattricks continue to lead the Binghamton Black Bears four to three would be the score in that contest. The Port Huron Prowlers at home tonight hosting the Motor City Rockers. That game, six minutes gone, period at number three. And uh, Port Huron trailing the Rockers three goals to two. In Columbus, they are headed to the third period. Excuse me, in Carolina tonight, they are headed to the third period. The Carolina Thunderbirds hosting the Delaware Thunder. Eight to two is the score after two periods of play in uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and after a period of play in uh, Mississippi, in Biloxi, Mississippi, the Seawolves trailing the Columbus River Dragons 4-1. to one. As we said, that's after 20 minutes of play. Back here in Watertown, 3-3 is our score. Defensive zone faceoff for the Watertown Wolves. Mo Levesque skating in. Against Matias Telstrom. That one was one back to the point. Quick shot coming, hit a leg, never got all the way through. Comes back out to the point. Payne turns with it, goes cross ice, got it to Moscow's one timer to the front of the goal. Knocked down by the defender, Ryan Saras. Now stripped out of the zone. Matias Telstrom has the puck, had his stick lifted, couldn't control it. Does end up with the puck. He'll back it down into the offensive end. Moscow's going to go back, pick it up for. Elmira in behind his own goal. He'll give it to Tim Payne. Payne right back to Moscow. In on the forecheck is Mike Mercurio as he will give chase. Puck all the way back down to the offensive end. Moscow, or excuse me, Bazarin had it. Fell down with the puck. Wolves trying to take it away from there. Bazarin got it back to Lyricos with a one-timer turned aside by Travis Smith. Parker Moscow at the point. Gave it back 
into the zone to Lyricos. Now it's going to come all the way across. Like Payne settles the puck down, lets the shot go. That goes off the skate. Oh, Charlie Penn. Payne's able to keep it in the zone near side, drops it down deep into the corner. Levesque carries out to the face-off circle, left-hand side. Now goes out to the, the slot. Payne had it, tried to get it to Lyricos, went off his stick up into the air. Colt McGuire able to turn. He's going to lift that one out of the zone with 45 seconds left in the Mammoth power play. Right back to the offensive rush. Parson Marker Moscow drags it through his own legs, drags it to the corner. Never got a decent shot off. Olesi sends it out to the point. Payne settles it down. Quick shot coming. That one knocked down by Travis Smith. And the Wolves able to clear the other way. Foot race for the loose puck. DeCostanzo takes it away from Payne. And he'll go to the front of the goal. And he was getting mugged on the way there. He couldn't get shake the stick. Uh, Parker Moscow. Moscow had him tangled up pretty good from behind. And uh, did it cleanly, so no penalty there. But Rocco Di Costanzo able to get a hold of him, having a short hand, short-handed opportunity, but just couldn't get a decent shot off on the way to the goal. With nine seconds left in the Mammoth power play. To face off near side just outside the blue line. That one was one back by Elijah Wilson. Going to get lifted down the ice. This will kill off the man advantage for the Mammoth. We are back to all even. Puck out near side. Seaman's going to overskate it. Wolves right back the other way. Wilson left it for Mercurio. Mercurio's one-timer got it down on the bottom. Makuchi covered it up. It poked out loose for a second. Mercurio able to put a stick on it, but then it's covered up by Trevor Makuchi. We'll get a stop and play with 11.53 left in a period number two tied up here in Watertown. Centering pass hits off the skate of Sam Haletsi. Comes out onto the near side half board. And Anderson, Dalton Anderson, overskated it. And it's going to end up right on the stick of Elijah Wilson. Wilson lost it trying to get through the slot area. Tried to get it back to Sam Rabchick. Rabchick's going to send it all the way in behind. Mike Mercurio there sends it right out in front. A one-timer by Wilson. And somehow... Makuchi was able to get a leg down on it. Pass goes across the far side. Sarah settles down the loose puck. He'll turn it now, had it poked away to the far side, goes and gets it, picks it up there. Traveling behind is Sam Rabchick. Rabchick skates all the way out to the near side. Got it over to McGuire. McGuire sent it deep to Saris. That's going to get chipped along. And now a foot race into the offensive end for the Mammoth. Wolves able to keep it there, though. Puck controlled there, tipped forward by Dika Stanzo and taken away by Becker. Becker skates out from behind his own goal, sends it back to the near side. O'Connor back to get it, slides it forward. That's intercepted as Trevor Lord took it away, slides into the offensive end, but Isaiah, or excuse me, it'll be Matt Bazarin able to take that one back. Brown gathers up the outlet pass, had to wait for the Wolves to get back on side, sends a quick shot from outside the blue line. That one knocked down by Trevor Micucci. Now it's loose in behind, giving chase. Is Rocco Di Costanzo. Puck to the far side. Crawford has it pinned up along the boards. Couple of Wolves digging along for it. Came out to the to Gingrich. He'll get it to Lord. Near side. Put it in front. Matt Brown with a redirect. It skipped high above the goal. Ben Maidman trying to keep it in the zone. Fell down on it. Parker Moscow has it. Three on one opportunity. Moscow goes across to Crawford. Pass was too far for Crawford to get to. Crawford did let a shot go. Missed off the side of the goal. Another quick shot coming. Puck down on the ice. And Moscow turning from about five feet out front. Sends it in. And Smith was able to kick that one away. Came all the way back out. Lyricos races in. Let's the shot go. Hit a body. As Gingrich gave his body up. Slid out in front of that one. Now Tim Payne tried to keep it in the zone, skipped outside the blue line. Wolves able to control now. Gingrich has it deep in the Watertown zone. He'll come to Trevor Lord near side. Lord's just going to lift it in the offensive end, 9.30 remaining in the period, giving chase to the near side. Evan Carroll has it. Carroll skates in, short area off the point. Drop pass there. That one's going to get sent out, hit a stick, and it's going to go all the way back into the Watertown end 
So Evan Carroll has to go back, pick it up, slid it forward, got it to Santino Fodi. Fodi jumps into the rush again, comes down the right-hand side, tried to go at an odd angle off the side of the goal. Rebound came out to the near side. Lyricos has it. Not out of the zone. The Wolves able to keep it in. Evan Carroll gets behind a defender, tried to slide a pass across. Parker Moscow slid across the ice with his body, took the puck away on the Evan Carroll shot, so the centering pass never got through. Mike Mann comes away with it, loose puck near side, and then sent all the way around, and it's going to go up and out of play. So we get a timeout on the ice, our under 10 media timeout here, with 8.44 remaining in the period. No timeout on the ice here in Watertown. Knotted up at three goals apiece here. 8.44 remaining in period number two. Timeout over. Both goaltenders return to their respective nets as we get ready to go back at it here. Offensive zone faceoff for Watertown over to the left-hand faceoff circle just to uh, Trevor McCucci's right-hand side as he faces out of his net. Mike Mercurio into the faceoff circle against Mo Levesque. Levesque, a veteran of the FPHL, some quick hands on those draws. He'll control it, takes it back behind his own goal, set it around to the near side, lifted towards the point. McGuire able to keep it in, and Cole McGuire just wristed that one towards the goal, right into the gut of Makuchi, and he'll hold on to it, and we get another stop in play. Faceoff coming to the near circle, and now a stoppage as Makuchi adjusts. The leg pad, left-hand side, looks like he's got that straightened around. Against Mo Lebeck, one more time, skating into the face-off circle against Elijah Wilson. Lebeck, very quick hands on these face-offs, and this one's actually going to be one controlled by Watertown. Mercurio has it, let a shot go, hit Lebeck on the leg. That skipped all the way out to neutral ice where Lyricos is going to end up with it. He'll lift that one, cross ice, giving trace with Wilson, couldn't get to it. Wolves are going to control from there. The outlet pass went off the skate of Mo Levesque and sent right back to the offensive end. Turning with it, losing it was Anderson on the way into the zone. Had it poked away. Levesque controls, had it end up behind him. Takes the puck to the near corner, gets tangled up back there. He and Sam Rabchick had it. Rabchick's going to come away with it. Centering pass. Got it to, uh, McCur to Siri. Mercurio had it and... Uh, Got tangled up coming through the zone, and we're going to get a penalty to the uh, Mammoth. A hooking call is coming, so Watertown is going to get a power play. <laughs> Mercurio was on his way into the zone. Hamilton able to get a stick up under or around the gut, I should say, and that's why he got tangled coming through the blue line. I thought the Wolves were going to be called for offside on that, but they did get a hooking call with 7.49 remaining in the period. Elijah Wilson won the face off to the corner, tried to get a centering pass. He'll carry it all the way around, sends it out to the far side. Evan Carroll sends it in deep one more time to uh, the corner. Michael Mann has it. Mann turns, excuse me, Mercurial turns with it. For, there it is, Michael Mann comes all the way around, drop pass there for Brown. Goes all the way through to Elijah Wilson. Wilson turning with it. He'll carry it out to the half board. Comes to Mercurio near side. Mercurio gives it back to Evan Carroll. Carroll deep into the zone again to uh, Elijah Wilson. Wilson got it back to Matt Brown. Comes all the way around the back of the goal. Got it to Evan Carroll. Carroll deep again to uh, Wilson. Wilson's one-timer turned aside by Makuchi. He'll go get his own rebound, though. Wilson came right back to the face-off circle. That's a shot goal. That's off the side of the goal. That's going to rebound all the way down the ice. 
Travis Smith out of the water, town goal, sends it forward to Matt Brown. Brown comes down, the right hand side puts the brakes on just inside the face, oh, third goal, and they score! Matt Brown slid it all the way across the ice, and Rocco Di Costanzo one times it to the top of the cage, and the Wolves have their first lead of the evening. The Wolves finally able to get out in front of the Mammoth. Almost 15 minutes gone here in the period, or I should say 14 minutes gone here in period number two, and the Wolves will finally get their first lead of the evening. Rocco Di Costanzo will get the goal, his third of the season. Face off control back into the Watertown end. Centering pass right in front. Smith had to knock it down. Puck loose for a second. Wolves able to lift that one out. That's going to go right on goal, so that'll get rid of any chance of an icing. McCucci plays it off the boards. It skips out over the stick when McGuire came to it as Brown tried to get to it. So Matt Brown will officially get the assist, his second of the year for the Watertown Wolves. Buck down on the ice. Power play goal for the Wolves. Controlled here. Colt McGuire lets the shot go. They hit a couple bodies on the way through. Puck gathered up. Far side, Telstrom put it back in front. He'll control the rebound behind. Skates out to the near side. Lifts it out to Colt McGuire at the near point. McGuire gives it right back to Telstrom. Telstrom slides it in deep to Maidman. Maidman back to McGuire. McGuire slid that one on goal. That hit a stick in front. Went to the corner. Controlled there by Watertown. Tried to get it out. Let far side. Crawford intercepted that. Lost it as he came through center ice. Moscow over skates him. Had to come back and pick it up. Then he'll get taken off the puck by Colt McGuire. Matias Telstrom has it for Watertown near side. He'll dump it to the offensive zone. Rose going for a wholesale change on the dump in. Mike Mann immediately gives chase in the, the offensive end. Puck control. Long outlet pass for Haletsi. Way too far for him to get to. Going to get lifted out. McGuire able to knock it down, though, for the Mammoth and keep it in the offensive side with 5-11 left to go in the period. Mike Mann drop pass there, left it for Elijah Wilson. Wilson steps through the blue line here, drop pass far side. Santino Fodi let a shot go. That hit a leg, and the rebound came right over to Elijah Wilson, who turned and let a shot go. Michael Mann battling for the loose puck. Wilson's going to end up with a man got hauled down to the displeasure of the crowd here in Watertown. No call from the official. Centering pass re redirected, just missed on the top side. Tom McGuire able to get a stick blade on it, but he missed the top of the cage. Big collision, far side, leaves a lot of wide open ice. On the near side, is Fody able to lift that one forward when he hit Tim Payne on the leg? Never got it into the offensive end. This one came right back. Elijah Wilson goes cross ice. Got it down to the backhand of Fody. Fody slid it to the front of the goal. And then uh, Sam Harabchek standing right there. Tried to get a shot, and then he had his helmet ripped off. Rabchek immediately went to the official. He's looking for something. He was trying to play the loose buck, and whoever the defender was that came over, wrapped him up, put an arm right around him, took his helmet right off with him. The official just shaking his head no, and the rest of the Wolves will grab him very quickly before he gets a penalty for chatting the official, and he will head back to the bench. 420 left in the period. Wolves lead by a goal, and the conversation is going to continue on the far side as Captain Charlie Penn's talking with both officials now and Becker coming over, and he's got a few words for Penn's and Penn's and Becker now chatting each other up on the far side right between the two benches. Officials standing right there. So media timeout, our third and final one of the second period. Both teams taking advantage of the break in action to get into the officials' ears on this break in the action. Four officials on the ice, four different players talking to either one.
Everybody looking for that slight advantage, trying to get into uh, the officials, give them a little bug in their ear. Offensive zone faceoff for in the Watertown end. Mo Levesque in against Elijah Wilson. That one won by Levesque back to the legs. Able to keep it in was Gingrich. Gingrich drags it down to the corner. Drop pass there. Got it to Rabchek. Rabchek got it out to the near side to Trevor Lord. Lord fired a shot. Hit Lyricos on the inside of the leg. Hobbled Lyricos for a second, but he'll jump right back into the action. Gingrich far side. Sent it ahead. Tipped it forward by Rabchek. Rabchek carried over. Skated it on the far side. Now able to skate out. And let a shot go all the way down through. Quick shot and they score! The puck came all the way across the ice and Yanni Lyricos deep from the left-hand side just rifles one to the top right corner on the goal and the Mammoth are gonna nod it back up at four goals a piece here. Yanni Lyricos third goal of the season. A lot of guys going for a loose puck on the right-hand side of Travis Smith, and the puck slid all the way over to the left face-off circle. Lyrico's there all by himself and just takes it and sends a nasty wrist shot to the top right corner, right across the face of Travis Smith, and they'll knot it up at four goals apiece here. Official time of the goal will be 16-14. Puck control to Sarah's far side. Got it back to Colt McGuire. McGuire fired a shot. That went through some traffic. And McCucci able to find that one and turned it to the corner. And now we're going to get another stoppage in play. And another power play coming to the Watertown Wolves again. Matt Bazarin will be the recipient of the call. It'll be an interference call with 3-12 left. So for the third time tonight, Matt Bazarin will sit down in the penalty box for the Elmira Mammoth. So Yanni Lyricos, the goal, he said 16-14 of the period, assisted by Lance Hamilton on the play. Elijah Wilson wins the faceoff back for Watertown. Mercurio is just going to poke that into the corner to Michael Mann. Mann's going to slide it all the way up the boards right back to Mercurio, who got it to Wilson. It's going to skip over Mercurio. Sticks of the Wolves have to regroup back out to center ice area. 145 left in the power play here. Evan Carroll slides it forward to Brown. Brown tried to get it past to Michael Mann. He does. Got it to Mann down in front. Centering pass was behind Elijah Wilson. It hit a skate on the way through. Controlled by Mike Mercurio. He'll send it deep to Elijah Wilson. Wilson turning at the corner. Stops there. Got it to Matt Brown. Brown out to Mercurio. Goes over to Evan Carroll. Fireside. Carroll trying to put it in front. Puck down on the ice. Michael Mann slides it back out to the near point. Mercurio has it. Comes towards the slot. He'll hold on to it. Puts the shot on. Puck down on the ice. Loose. And on the rebound. And covered up by Trevor McCucci. And he'll hold on with 2.22 left in a period number two. Wolves trying to take advantage of a power play late here, period number two. Santino Fodi is going to skate into the circle against Parker Moscow. Moscow is going to win it back towards his legs, but Sam Rabchick is going to gather it for Watertown. Got it to Ryan Saris. Saris goes all the way in behind. Maratea had it, had it taken away. It comes up to the near side. Saris able to hold on to it. Skates out, now drops it back to Rabchick in the corner. Rabchick turning with it. Got it back to Saris. Saris back to Rabchick near half board. Looking towards the center. Goes back out to Sarah. Sarah's controls there. Looks to the far side. He'll come back to Rabchick. Rabchick goes cross ice. Got it over there one time. One timer! Ryan Sarah's! Hello, Watertown! Ryan Sarah's from the slot is going to go top shelf right hand corner. And Sarah's has got his first goal as a Watertown wall. Wolves right back to the lead. Saracen Mercurio played catch about three or four times. 
and then Saris looked to the left, brought it back to Mercurio. Mercurio gave it right back to him, and he was able to slide that one to the top right corner, and Ryan Saris has his first Watertown goal. For two days. Okay. So another quick shot gathered up by Trevor McCucci. My apologies, taking care of some paperwork up here on our deck outside the booth here in the Watertown. 133 left in the period. Ryan Sears, short-handed, or excuse me, power play goal, assisted by Sam Rabchek and by Rocco Di Costanzo. Puck him back out to Penns. Penns let a shot go. That hit a body of Yanni Lyricos. Lyricos able to lift it out of the zone. Lyricos will control. He'll go cross ice to Payne. Payne had it for a second, lifted it out, hit Mo Levesque with it. Levesque turns, steps inside the blue line, tried to slide it forward. Another quick pass. Lyricos missed a wide open goal on the near side. Lyricos had another opportunity, wide open goal on the left hand side, and he missed on the redirect by about two inches. One minute to play, period. Elijah Wilson has it. Got it to Trevor Lord. Lord got it back, skipped over his stick, so Tim Payne will control. He'll lift it out to Yanni Lyricos near side. Lyricos with the puck goes cross ice. That one knocked down by Ben Maidman. Maidman able to slide that one forward. Evan Carroll dragged it down to the corner, left it for Matt Brown. Brown one timer, a hard shot right into the chest of Trevor McCucci. He bobbled it but held on, and we get a stoppage in play with 38 seconds left in the period. Tyler Becker and Matt Brown have a couple of words. The officials very quickly separate them and send them in two separate directions out here on the ice. 38 seconds left. The Wolves able to get back in front at 18.08 of the period as Ryan Sarah scores his first goal as a Watertown Wolf. O'Connor sends it all the way around, not out of the zone as... Uh, Maidment was able to send it right back in. The outlet pass intercepted there. Again, Rocco Di Costanzo put it down on the ice. It was loose in front. Matt Brown couldn't put a stick on it. 20 seconds left. Matt Brown wheels around near side, drops it off the boards, but that one's going to be intercepted by Matt, or Sam Haletsi. Haletsi back the other direction. Pass was too far, and the seaman couldn't get to it, so the Mammoth are going to be offside with 10.2 seconds left. The faceoff will come just outside the Watertown zone, far side of the ice. Mike McCurio to the faceoff circle against Anderson. Mercurio controlled that, just going to lift out of the zone with five seconds left to go. Very quickly, Rabchick looking for one more opportunity. That's a quick shot. Go, nope, that's going to miss wide on the far side, and the horn will sound and bring an end to a very entertaining period number two here in Watertown. But well, Watertown would strike first in period number two at 217 of the frame. Santino Fodi nets the goal from Michael Mann and from Travis Smith. A beautiful play. Smith just cleared it from his own goal the length of the ice. Mike Mann got it on the right-hand side, slid it across the goal mouth. And Santino Fodi able to knock it home, tying up the game at three goals apiece. And then the Wolves would get a power play goal at 1308 of the period. Matt Brown... Sliding it across to Rocco Di Costanzo, also on the assist with Travis Smith again. Smith getting two assists on the evening. A power play goal made it 4-3 to three in favor of the Watertown Wolves again. That was at 13.08. Then Yan Yanni Lyricos on a pass from Lance Hamilton from the top of the faceoff circle, left-hand side, a nasty rift shot that went right across in front of the goalkeeper, Travis Smith, to the top right corner of the goal. That nodded the game back up at four apiece. And then the Wolves got their second power play goal of the night, 18-08 of the period. Ryan Sarris, his first Watertown goal 
assisted by Sam Rabchick and by Matthias Telstrom. That made it five to four in favor of the Watertown Wolves. The Wolves outshot Elmira 23 to 10 in a period number two. Totals for the game, 41 for Watertown, 17 for Elmira. Again, just like last night, with over 50 shots on goal for Watertown. That will tell you the story of how good the goalkeeper, Trevor Micucci, has been for the Elmira Mammoth. The Wolves able to find a, or solve that puzzle a couple of times here, but give credit where credit is due. micucci has been a big reason that that game is as close as this one is, and as it was through most of the game last night before the Wolves finally took advantage in the period number three. Well, before we take a break here in Watertown, let's take a look at the scores out of town. Right now in the second period, 13 and a half minutes gone, the Columbus River Dragons in Mississippi taking on the Seawolves tonight in Biloxi, Mississippi. Columbus with a 6-1 to one lead in that contest, as we said, in the second period. Headed to the third period in Carolina tonight, the Carolina Thunderbirds 8-2, to two, and that game may be a final. We'll have to slide all the way back down the scoreboard on that. Yes, that game is now a final. Carolina 8-2 to two win over the Delaware Thunder. In Port Huron, Michigan tonight, the Port Huron Prowlers hosting the Motor City Rockers, and this one also may be a final as these games all started earlier tonight, and it is a final. Motor City a 4-2 to two win over the Port Huron Prowlers. The Bingham and Black Bears are in Danbury, Connecticut, taking on the Danbury Hattrick after two periods of play there. A score there, Danbury, 4-3 to three over the visiting Binghamton Black Bears. Our score here in Watertown, 5-4 to four after 40 minutes of play. We'll take a short break here from the Watertown Municipal Arena for Josh Rowe on our camera. My name is Jeff Barrett. We will be right back in just a couple of minutes.
Well, we want to welcome you back inside the Watertown Municipal Arena. We get set for period number three between the visiting Elmira Mammoth and your Watertown Wolves. My name is Jeff Barrett, taking you through your action here tonight from the Watertown Municipal Arena. Standing next to me on my right, that is Josh Rowe on our camera here this evening. Well, a wild scoring affair both ways. Period number two, the Wolves were able to get to knock the game up at three. At 2.17 of the period, Santino Fodi from Michael Mann and Travis Smith, the goalkeeper on the assist. That made it three to three on an even strength effort. The Wolves were able to, excuse me, the Wolves would take a brief lead at 13.08 of the period. Rocco DiCostanzo assisted by Matt Brown and again by Travis Smith, the goalkeeper for Watertown. That made it four to three on a power play goal. Then at Yanni Lyricos from Lance Hamilton at 16-14, even strength effort as Lyricos, a nasty wrist shot from just outside the left-hand face-off circle to the top part of the cage, was able to knot it back up at four, but the Wolves would get one back at 18-08 of the period. Another power play goal, this one by Ryan Saris, his first Watertown goal, assisted by Sam Rabchek and by Matthias Telstrom. That made it five to four in favor of the Watertown Wolves. Five to four is the way period number two would end. Looking around the FPHL, a couple of these games are already final. The uh, Carolina Thunderbirds at home, an eight to two win over the Delaware Thunder. As they said, that game in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And in Port Huron, Michigan, the Motor City Rockers out of Frazier, Michigan, Make the short trip over to Port Yarra and pick up a 4-2 win over the home team of Prowlers in that one. Other contests still in action. The Binghamton Black Bears are in uh, Danbury, Connecticut, taking on the Danbury Hattricks. Ten, just about halfway gone, period number three. And it is a 4-3 lead for the home team, Danbury Hattricks. The Columbus River Dragons are on the road. They are at Mississippi, Biloxi, Mississippi to take on the Seawolves. They are up 9-2 to two, and that game also in the late going of the contest and headed to the third period or into the third period I should say. Again our score here 5-4. to four. A tight battle between the hometown Watertown Wolves and the visiting Elmira Mammoth. The Mammoth over five in the year looking for their first FPHL win here in Watertown and in their inaugural season. Watertown trying to spoil that and pick up their second win in a row here over the Mammoth. Face off control, Elijah Wilson immediately drags it into the offensive end. Skates through a couple of defenders and able to get a backhand off but right into the stomach of uh, Trevor McCucci and he'll hold on to that one and we get a stoppage in play. Faceoff's going to come to the near side. Mike Mercurio into the faceoff circle against Mo Levesque. Levesque won that one back to the corner. Ken trolled there, sent right back to Levesque. He'll skate out of the zone, tried to slide it ho forward to Hamilton. That one got sent right back the other direction. Wolves couldn't get it into the zone. Hamilton goes right back the other direction between a couple of players. Drop pass all the way to the far side to Lyricos. Too far for Lyricos to get to. So a foot race between he and Carroll. Lyricos going to end up with it. Got it in front of one-timer from Levesque. Turned aside by Travis Smith. And the Wolves trying to get an odd man rush here. Not going to happen, but they will get the puck in the offensive end. Mike Mercurio drags it down in behind the goal. He'll turn with it there. It got taken away, sent out to the near side, keeping it in his Lincoln Gingrich. He'll go all the way around the backside. First one to get to it will be Lyrico. He'll just lift that one way up into the air. Down the ice it will go. Should be an icing call, and yes, it will be, and we'll get a stop in play. So 59 seconds gone here in the third period. Wolves enjoying that one goal advantage over the Mammoth. Face off offensive side for Watertown. Rocco Di Costanzo into the circle against Mo Levesque. Levesque wins that one back through his feet one more time. Wolves able to chase it down in the corner. Levesque's going to come away with it. He'll skate out on the left-hand side. Got hounded from behind. Had it poked away. Delayed penalty is coming.
and not sure what the call is going to be here, waiting uh, for the officials. And my apologies, we may not have anything here at all. It looked like he had his hand up on the far side. He was gesturing towards one of the Mammoth players. I'm thinking now, hindsight, that may have hit a player on the bench. That may have been what the issue was. So stoppage in play, face off deep in the offensive zone for Watertown. De Costanzo won that one back through his feet, tipped away from there, and then sent right back in. Wolves have to get back on side. Puck goes in behind the goal, turning there, coming out to the near point. Bazarin sends it cross-ice to Moscow. Moscow just backs it into his zone to Lyricos. Lyricos will go for a change. That one deep into the water town end, going back to get it. Trevor Lord drop pass there for Matt Brown. Brown's just going to lift that one all the way out to center ice where Tyler Becker will settle the puck down for the Mammoth. He'll lift that one right back in on goal. So Travis Smith had to turn that one aside. Crawford chases the loose puck behind, skips over his stick. Isaiah Crawford with two goals already in the evening for the Mammoth. Got their first two goals of the night. He'll take another one. Let a shot go. That hit a leg in front. Never went all the way through. Puck's going to rebound out to the near side. And a uh, little bit of a collision on the side of the goal is going to end up taking the goal off the mooring. And now a couple of players are going to have words. Matt Bazarin and Trevor Lord are jawing with each other. And a couple of players from either team getting in between these guys. And they will keep them separated. Trevor Lord and Matt Bazard continuing to draw, draw at each other as Trevor Lord is headed back towards the Watertown bench. Face off just to the right of Watertown goalkeeper Travis Smith, 17-57 left in regulation. Trevor or excuse me, Santino Fodi, and on the faceoff, won it for Watertown. Got skipped outside the zone, came right back in, but Colton McGuire will carry it out. He'll dump it to the offensive end. Timmy Payne knocks it down for the Mammoth, but it stays in the zone for a moment. Long outlet pass, that one's intercepted, and Matias Telstrom able to send that one forward. It's going to come all the way around to the near side. Michael Mann sneaks in, keeps him in the zone. He'll just dump it on goal. Big rebound, far side. Colt McGuire sneaks in, drop pass there. He'll leave it for Matias Telstrom. Telstrom had to come off the end of his stick all the way back out to neutral ice. He'll reel all the way back through center ice. Came back, picked the puck up there, dropped it off for McGuire. Colt McGuire is going to send that to the offensive end. Timmy Payne has it out onto the far side. Got it to Sam Alessi. Unless he turns with it, had it taken away. Wolves take it to the offensive side. Elijah Wilson had it, overskated it, and it's going to get lifted way up into the air, down the ice it will go, and we will get an icing call. That thing lifted way towards the rafters here in Watertown. So they'll skate all the way back to the other end. Just over three minutes played here, period number three. Mike Mercurio is going to skate into the faceoff circle against Parker Moscow. Mercurio won that one to the side, but it's taken right back by Seaman. He'll go cross ice. Got it to Halesi. Halesi had it poked off the end of his stick. Rabchik takes it away from Seaman. Now Rabchik gets into the offensive rush. Drop pass there from Mercurio. One timer. That goes off the skate and up and out of play. Mercurio trying to lengthen the Watertown lead here. Took the pass from Rabchek, let a quick shot go, but it went off the skate and up into the netting here behind the goal, and we get another stop in play. Well, we do apologize. We've had internet issues all night here in the building. Something with the internet provider is what I'm being told. Uh, they said, I don't know anything about that stuff. I just had notes that are handed in front of me, and I try to relay it to you. I guess the feed has been kind of choppy again this evening as it was last night. We are recording tonight's game. Everything is working inside the building, so the game is being recorded by Eric Thorstein and Thunder Force Communications. They will upload the complete game after this. If you are having a problem watching it, you will be able to watch it in its entirety, as I said, as the game is being recorded. The far side skips outside the zone. 
dumped right back in, and the Mammoth had to get back on side. We'll settle the puck down. Trevor Lord, long outlet pass to Matt Brown. Touches it to the offensive end. McGuire went to get it. Slid it around to uh, the far side. That one got knocked down. Wolves able to keep it in the zone. Quick shot. And that one somehow, McCucci able to get a glove on it. Couldn't hold on to it, but he did knock it down and send it away from the goal mouth as the Wolves had a couple of players standing right in front. Couldn't take advantage of the rebound. Now a defensive zone turnover for the Mammoth. Watertown another opportunity. Santino Fodi looking for his second goal of the night as the puck was dropped right in front of him. Now a quick shot coming from the outside as Ryan Saras sends one towards the goal. And that one's going to get swallowed up. Trevor McCucci will hold on. And we get another stoppage with the 15-37. Left to play in the regulation here in Watertown. Wolves enjoying a one-goal lead here. Just under four and a half minutes gone here. Period number three. Face off in the offensive zone. Fody and uh, Levesque. And to drop the puck, we're going to try it one more time. This time, Michael Mann's going to skate into the circle against Mo Levesque. Levesque's going to win that one back through his feet, but it's going to go right onto his own goalkeeper. So Makuchi will cover that one up, and we'll try it one more time. Face off again to the near side. The Wolves are going to get a wholesale line change here on the stop. So coming out now, skating into the face-off circle will be Mike Mercurio. Mercurio into the circle against Mo Levesque. That one dropped, loose in between of both players. O'Connor's going to end up with it. Sends it all the way around to the far side, controlled there. Loose puck battle. Levesque's going to come away with it. Sends it all the way across ice. Tried to get it to Hamilton. Hamilton overskated it. McGuire fanned on the shot, trying to send it into the offensive end. He'll play it off the boards, turning with it. Was Colt McGuire sending it out off the half board, far side. Mercurio has it. He'll control it, get it back to Elijah Wilson. Wilson takes it in behind the Watertown goal. They'll set up their offense from there. Puck lifted out of the zone, down the ice. It's going to go deep down into the zone. Giving chase will be Sam Rabchek, controlled by Lincoln Gingrich. Far side, turning with it, trying to get it in behind. Puck comes out near side, or start, not far side, I should say. Lyricos has it. He'll come over to O'Connor on the near side. O'Connor plays it off the board, slid it to Hamilton. Hamilton got hit as he came through center race. Parker Moscow is going to end up with it. Moscow lets a shot go. That goes off the glove of Travis Smith. That's going to be covered by Charlie Penns. Penns is going to take it back in behind the Watertown goalkeeper. He'll hold on to it there. Looks out near side, slides out to Elijah Wilson. Wilson tried to tap it to center race. A big collision in the middle between Di Costanzo and Payne. And now we're going to get a penalty on the Watertown Wolves. And now we got a couple of players coming together at center ice. So Rocco DiCostanzo will get escorted to the penalty box here. DiCostanzo will sit down two minutes up on the board. So De Costanzo, two minutes for kneeing will be the call. Five forty-two time of the penalty. So the Mammoth with an opportunity here to tie this thing back up. Media timeout on the ice, our under 15 media timeout. Fourteen, eighteen remaining in uh, regulation here. The Wolves enjoying a five to four lead over the visiting Elmira Mammoth. Other two games still in action here tonight. Binghamton Black Bears in Danbury, Connecticut. The Danbury Hattricks holding on to a four to three lead. 17 minutes gone, period number three. As the Hattricks look to remain unbeaten. 
And the other contest late in the third period. Or headed to the third period, I should say. I keep saying late. Headed to the third period. Nine to two the score. The Columbus River Dragons over the home team, Mississippi Seawolves. So icing the call as the Mammoth tried to make their way to the offensive end. 19 seconds gone in this power play. Faceoff's going to come to the near circle, it looks like. Mike Mercurio going to skate into the circle for the Wolves. He'll go in. That one slid out to Seaman near side. He'll come through center ice. Seaman down it tried to center. Maratea had it, had it poked off his stick. Wolves right back the other direction. Trying to get a shorthanded opportunity. That one will just get sent forward by Charlie Penn's big rebound came off the goal. And it looks like it got up on the goal. We'll get a stoppage in play. 13-38 left in regulation here in Watertown. And my apologies, that one dumped in. We did get an icing call, so they'll bring it all the way back out. Drop the puck, we'll try it one more time. Matt Brown and Mo Levac. Brown won that one back and sent into the... Mammoth end. Payne has it. Slides it back to Lyricos. Lyricos goes cross ice to Moscow. Back to Lyricos. He'll reel back through his own end. Try to get it to Tim Payne. Payne will control. Circles back again. The Wolves keeping the pressure on so that the Mammoth can't get out of the zone. One minute left in the power play here. Payne able to finally slip one into the offensive side. Wolves control there. He comes out on the near side. Bazrin couldn't control and the Wolves able to send that one down the length of the ice and that's going to hit the net. And it'll be up and out of play, and we're going to get a delay a game. Penalty, I believe, to the Wolves. And we will with 47 seconds left in the power play. Now we're going to get a five-on-three skating here for the Elmira Mammoth as uh, trying to see who's going to take the penalty on that one. They had... Matt Brown headed over this direction. And then Ryan Saris also came this way. Now it will be Matt Brown sitting down for the delay of game as he tried to clear. As I said, the netting here in Watertown comes off the top of the glass and then it goes out at an angle. So high in the air, it's out about a foot over the ice surface. So anything along the side here up in the air could possibly turn into a delay of game like we just saw right there. That hit way up on the net. Payne got it to Moscow. Moscow turned, got a shot off, had to regroup, got his own rebound, got it to Mo Levesque. Levesque back out to the slot to Payne. Payne got it to the far side of the Lyricals, put that one in front. That was turned aside by Travis Smith and controlled there, and the Wolves able to send that one the length of the ice. 13 seconds left in the five-on-three skating opportunity here. Makuchi way out of his goal, gave it to Moscow. Moscow gave it to Levesque, near side stops on the half board. Got it back to Moscow. He tried to go cross ice. That's going to get off a stick in up and out of play. Moscow was trying to go cross ice to Yanni Lyricos. And Matias Telstrom able to just put a stick out there. Went off the end of the stick in up and out, out of play. So 113 left, first power play is over. 110 now in the, the remaining power play. Yanni Lyricos overskated, they had to regroup, got it to Payne, sends it in deep to Moscow. Moscow with an odd angle shot, lets it go. Big rebound out in front. And Travis Smith has to jump out, cover that one up. And a collision between a couple of players as Bazarin goes flying. Oh, 
to stop in the action. 12.05 left, just 101 left in the Mammoth power play here. Faceoff's going to come to the near side, and looks like it'll be Mo Lebec going into the faceoff circle against Rocco Di Costanzo. Smith got the equipment back on, got himself gathered back up. We'll be able to send that one the length of the ice. That'll bounce hard off the back dasher. Sent out to center ice, goes right back into the Elmira end. Payne slides it out. Got it to Lyrico, streaking right to the middle, but he'll wear back out to the outside. Now he'll go cross ice to get it to the far side. It came back again. Lyrico settles the puck down, lets a shot go, hit Levesque on the leg. That redirected to the corner. Levesque goes, gets the rebound, holds onto it in the corner, sends it all the way cross ice. Tried to get it onto the far side and sending it across the front of the goal mouth was Parker Moskal, and that one's going to get gloved by Travis Smith. He'll hold on 27 seconds left in the man advantage. So the face is going to go to the far side, 11.31 left in regulation. The Wolves continue to hold a 5-4 lead over the Mammoths. Faceoff stays right in the face of the right off the faceoff circle, stay to the bottom, and a very quick shot from Seaman. That one knocked down by Travis Smith. Dakota Seaman with a quick shot go. Faceoff goes right to Seaman again. Now he'll slide it over to O'Connor. O'Connor tried to get it back to Seaman. It got tipped up into the air. Colt McGuire able to go get it. He'll lift that one all the way down the length of the ice. Went off the stick of Dakota Seaman as he tried to knock it down at center ice. Wolves pinching in. Hold on to the puck. Seven seconds left. Now they're just going to take it back to their zone and uh, knock it down from there. Send it in to kill off the penalty. Back to all even as Brown out of the penalty box. Races out onto the ice. Dragging the puck to the offensive end was Thomas McGuire. Puck comes all the way to uh, Matt Brown. Brown lifts it high up into the air. And that's going to hit the girders up above and be out of play. Ten fifty-two remaining in uh, regulation. We're glad you could join us here. And now we're going to get a, another Watertown penalty, and it'll be Charlie Pence coming over to sit down. Pence is going to get a two minutes for tripping, and that tripping call was after the play was over, after the whistle, as uh, Lance Hamilton was headed back across the ice to his bench, and Pence just. Gave him the business and tripped him up here. So another power play here. Laricos, big shot from the slot. That one turned aside from Smith. That's going to get up and out of play. So Watertown taking a bunch of penalties here at the mid portion of period number three, leading by a goal, but giving Elmira an advantage a couple of different times here. Lyricos controls, had it poked away and able to skate away with it is Ben Maidment. Maidment down the right-hand side, steps inside the blue line, comes over to the near side to Ryan Sarah. Sarah's just going to rebound it all the way back to the Watertown end as they try to take some time off. He'll get it to the far side. Got it onto the stick of Colt McGuire, who dragged it in the offensive end, left it there as the Wolves got a change. Mo Levesque near side skates in, avoids the check from Trevor Lord, passes it by De Costanzo, tried to get it onto the stick of Bazer in it, but it went all the way around. Kept in, Lyricos far side, just outside the faceoff circle. Skates in, lets a shot go. A nasty wrister. That's going to be gloved by Travis Smith, and he'll hold on. We get a stop at the play. Exactly 10 minutes left in the period number three. So halfway gone. In the third period, 108 left in another mammoth power play here. Payne slides to Lyricos, back to Payne, back to Lyricos, near side as they switch sides now. Moscow on the far side, put it in front. That got redirected to the corner. Lyricos has the rebound, near side, half board, goes back to Payne in the slot. Payne sends it deep to Levesque. Levesque drops it for Lyricos. Lyricos lets a shot go. That hit a body in front and then got turned aside. That one will get lifted all the way down the ice by Trevor Lord with 43 seconds left in the Mammoth power play. 
Payne goes back, picks it up, wheels out of his own end, looks up ice, drop pass here for Parker Moscow. Moscow steps inside the blue line, drops it for Lyricos just inside the point. He'll go to Payne again in the slot. Payne lets a shot go. That one redirected to the corner, and the Wolves again able to clear it out of the zone. And now the Wolves are going to give chase as trying to take the puck away. They were able to do it, but we could not get a centering pass. That one's going to get lifted up in the air all the way down the ice. Wolves had to get back on side, 8.58 left, four seconds left in the man advantage. Trying to clear, far side came through center ice. Wolves take it right back, all even. Once again, as Penns is out of the penalty box, McGuire slides it to the corner. Wolves in caught in a change right here. As the puck gets up and out of play at the left end of the arena. And just as we were talking about that, as the puck went out of play, we got a whistle. And Dalton Anderson's going to come over and sit down. And the official signaling a slash. So the Wolves are going to get a power play here. As all of a sudden we've seen a spate of penalties here in the late going of this game or at the midway point of this contest here. So our under 10 minute timeout here in the Watertown Municipal Arena, media timeout on the ice. Wolves five to four, let's reset it for you. Wolves up five to four, going on a power play for two minutes. They've been outshot in period number three. Elmira 11 shots to three for Watertown. Totals for the game, Watertown 44 to 28. So the Wolves to the power play with an offensive zone faceoff. Elijah Wilson won it back to Mercurio. Mercurio sends it all the way across ice. Evan Carroll settles down a bouncing puck, sends it in deep to Elijah Wilson. Wilson got it to Michael Mann, got it back in front, sent it across the goal mouth, and that one will get lifted out to center ice. Coming back to pick it up. Mike Mann gets in behind a couple of defenders. That's a shot go. Beat the goaltender, but it went across and off the pipe on the far side. Rebounded all the way back to the Watertown end. Turning with it. Trying to pick up a head of steam is Mike Mercurio. He'll come down the left-hand side. Looks towards the front of the goal. Takes it all the way around the back side. He'll just get right back out to the far point. Comes to the slot. Dropped it there. For Evan Carroll. Carroll will now carry it in behind. Had it poked off his stick. Michael Mann's going to pick up the loose change, though. He will give it to Wilson. Back to uh, Mike Mann. Got it back to Mercurio's one timer. Hit a leg in front, but able to gather it up as Elijah Wilson. He'll keep it in the zone for Watertown. Matt Brown has it deep in the zone. Tried to put it in front. That one turned aside. Made was standing right on the doorstep. And uh, Micucci able to turn that one away. Pass to the far side. Big shot off the chest of Micucci. And that one gathered up by Halesi, and he'll lift that one out of the zone all the way down to Smith. Wolves trying to get an odd man rush on a line change here from the Mammoth, and a huge save by Makuchi once again as Foti got in behind the defense, and one time he got one-on-one -on -one with Makuchi, who made another beautiful save. Watertown's going to race all the way around the back of the goal. Falling down was Rabchek. He'll slide it forward. Got it to Wilson. Wilson had it taken away. Moscow with a shorthanded effort. Slides in, lets the shot go. That bounces off the back of the Watertown goal. Seven seconds left in the power play. 6.48 left in regulation here in Watertown. Wolves leading by a goal. Rabchek down the near side. Had to turn away. So the Wolves had to get back on side. Fody able to poke it along, but... Turned right back to center ice. Maidman's just going to lift it into the offensive end as the Wolves go for another change. O'Connor Becker lifts it out towards center ice. Wolves knock it down there. Elijah Wilson turns. He'll go to the left hand or the right hand side. Had it poked off his stick through center ice. Parker Moscow's got it. Tried to get it to Yanni Lyricos. Lyricos is going to get tangled up with Matias Telstrom. And now we're going to get a penalty. To Telstrom for tripping, he and Lyricos got tangled up going to the offensive end, and they're going to call Matias Telstrom for the tripping penalty. And we've got five guys in blue sweaters looking at the official with their hands palms straight up in the air like, what? <laughs> Not understanding that call, Matias Telstrom 
not happy. He'll skate over and sit down. Didn't have much of a conversation with the official, but the Wolves will take another penalty here with 6-11 left in regulation. Well, the Wolves up by a goal, 5-4, 6-11 left in regulation here in Watertown. They're not making it easier on their goalkeeper, Travis Smith, with a bunch of penalties here in the third frame. Rocco Di Costanzo into the face-off circle. Levesque wins that one. Back to Payne. Payne comes to Lyricos near side. He'll go cross ice. Moscow back to Payne. Back to Moscow. Far side. Back to Payne in the slot. He'll turn. Let the shot go. That went off the pipe. Another pass came right in front. Levesque controls there. Lost it behind him. And Colt McGuire able to lift that one down the length of the ice. One player down on the ice. And now we got a couple squaring up as Charlie Penn's and Yanni Lyricos will get a whole lot of shirt of each other. Lyricos trying to throw a couple of rights over the top. Gets Pens a few times on the back of the head. Then Pens takes him down to the ice. Well, if you're scoring at home, I think Yanni Lyricos may have got the better of that deal. Looks like he was able to get a couple of shots onto the back of... Charlie Penn's head right there. Penn's couldn't get his arms loose. And Lyricos just got a couple of shots on the side. Meanwhile, down behind the play, over here behind the goal, is a Justin Levesque. He is down on the ice, and Mo is slow to get up. He is back up to his feet, though. Mo Levesque, a veteran of the FPHL. Lebec, one of the bigger guys out there, 6'3", 200 pounds out of Garson, Ontario. So the Wolves have two guys in the penalty box right now. Yanni Lyrico sitting down in the penalty box. A couple of the kids over here Banging on the glass behind Lyricos, get a smile out of him. you got to remember, Yanni Lyricos spent some time here in Watertown back in 2018 when the, the last time, the second time the Watertown Wolves won the Commissioner's Cup. So Lyricos to the penalty box is sitting down along with uh, Charlie Penn. They will both go five minutes for fighting. Now we got Hamilton coming over. He's sat down in the penalty box for the Elmira Mammoth. So Penns gets five for fighting. Lyrico's five for fighting. Paletti controls the puck off the faceoff. Macario has it behind. Tried to carry the puck out behind. Got taken off from it. Came out to the near side, controlling the puck, or sliding it out, trying to get it out of the zone. Was Tom McGuire, had it taken back. Wolves keeping the four, checking pressure on. Now the puck comes through center. Anderson had it poked off his stick. McGuire's going to end up with it. He'll skate back to the offensive side, but they were off side, so he had to drop the puck and head back out of the zone. Wolves look to race out here. Mercurio beat one player, but then Moscow poked it off the end of his stick. Mercurio trying to get it back. Moscow muscles the puck away. He'll wheel through center ice. Came along and let a quick shot go. Missed across the front of the goal. Rebound to McGuire. Slides it back to Moscow. Moscow centering pass in front, and they'll score. Thomas Bazarin is going to slide the rebound underneath Travis Smith, and they've knotted the game up at five goals a beat with just 4.47 Left in regulation, we are tied once again. Matt Bazarin took the rebound, slid it underneath the goalkeeper. Travis Smith, and Smith is slow to get up, sitting down on the ice, and a member of the Watertown Wolves medical staff is headed out there to see Travis Smith. I failed to see if there was a collision in front. But 
with Travis Smith slow to get up. A lot of the, the Wolves players on the ice are down there checking on Travis Smith. He's still sitting on his butt in right in the crease. And now he starts to roll over and uh, look like he will be okay. And Smith's going to get back to his feet. But in all of that, Matt Bazarin took the rebound, standing right on the doorstep and slid it underneath Travis Smith. And we are knotted up at five goals apiece with just 447 left in regulation. So it will be an even strength goal for Matt Bazarin, 15-13 of the period. And we are knotted up once again. A wild game here in Watertown. Spectators on edge, obviously, if you're a Watertown fan, if you're at home watching as an Elmira fan, you got to be enjoying this. This has been an entertaining hockey game from a spectator point of view. Becker controls the puck, his own end, turning with it there, slides it back in behind his own goal, got it out to the far side. Anderson excuse me, sent right back in by Anderson. And now a couple of guys tangled up behind puck loose far side. Skating in, Cole McGuire picks it up. Tried to drag it out to the front of the goal. Couldn't get it there. Parker Moscow backhands it across. Got it to center ice and the pass back to Moscow was tipped forward. Rebound came right out in front of the Watertown goal. Dika Stanzo sends it across. Says Carroll has it. Slides it forward to Matias Telstrom. Telstrom rifles a shot. Big rebound missed on the top side. The puck was misplayed by Makuchi, and it slid right by the left side of the goal. And that one's going to get lifted up and into the Mammoth Fence. will get a stoppage in play. Well, trying to sort, sort things out here. Faceoff will be in the Elmira end of the ice. Will go to the far side. Mo going to skate into the circle one more time for the Mammoth against Mike Mercurio. And Haletsi was making his way back out onto the ice over the bench. And he's going to get sent back. Noah Wilde's going to have to... Uh, Skate back out onto the ice for the late change. So Mercurio and Levesque to the face-off circle. 349 left in regulation. Four seconds left in the Watertown five on four skating. Sent all the way around to the near side, skips over the stick, down into the offensive end. Hamilton right out of the penalty box. Will give chase, but Lord's able to take it away. He'll hold on to it there. Tried to slide it forward. Levesque doing everything he can to keep it in the zone. Hamilton sends it deep to the corner. Gathered up there by Gingrich. Gingrich rifles it all the way around to the far side. Puck dropped right in front as it was mishandled by the Wolves. Elijah Wilson's going to end up with it. Mo Levesque took it back. From Trevor Lord, Lord's going to come back with the puck. Skates behind the Watertown goal, sends it out to the near side. Got it to Rabcheck. Rabcheck will turn with it. Rabcheck goes cross ice. Got it to Trevor Lord. Lord's outlet pass goes off the stick of Mercurio down to the offensive end. Turning with it, sending it out of the zone one more time was Tom McGuire. He got the puck to uh, Parker Moscow. Moscow goes from right to left, puts the puck in front. Big collision. And uh, Travis Smith able to watch that one slide by. Elijah Wilson back to the offensive end and diving to knock the puck away. Was Parker, or excuse me, was tipping the puck away at the last minute. Was Chris Maratea. Puck knocked down in front. Maratea able to carry it out. Sends it all the way in front to Crawford. Crawford took a shot at it. He'll go head first into the boards as he fell down. And now Elijah Wilson gets behind the defense, stops in. He's going to get taken down. That one's going to be held on to. Hey, Trevor Makuchi. Elijah Wilson dragged the puck right to the front of the goal, tried to move it a couple of times. And then Makuchi reaching out, 
to smother that one. Trips up Wilson, and Wilson goes flying through the air. 5-5, five, five, your score, just 2-13 a left in the regulation. Offensive zone faceoff for Watertown. Matt Brown's going to skate into the circle for Watertown. He'll go in against Dalton Anderson. Two thirteen left, and now Anderson will get tossed from the circle. So Sam Haletsi will skate in against Matt Brown. Haletsi wins that one back to the corner. O'Connor sends it all the way around. Wolves able to keep it in the zone. Goes deep to Rocco Di Costanzo. Back to Brown. It came out to Maidman with a one timer turned aside by Makuchi. Centering pass, knocked down. Wolves look to go back the other direction. Brown just going to send that one cross ice to the corner. Di Costanzo will give chase from there. Kept it on the half board, took the puck away from McGuire. Turned it back in front, made it, had it, couldn't put a stick on it. And now a big collision again right in front of the goal. And the goal is going to come off the mooring as Matt Brown got tangled going to the goal, had a collision with the goalkeeper, Trevor McCucci. Nothing Brown could do there. He got tripped up going in or got tangled up, I should say. Ends up going to the ice and sliding through uh, Trevor McCucci, and the goal came off with 142 uh, left in uh, regulation here. Knotted up at five. The Wolves have already had one power or one overtime game this year. That was the first game of the night of the season as they played the Motor City Rockers. No score through 60 minutes of play, then 116 into the period of overtime. Matt Brown netted the goal, and Watertown got their opening night win. Quick shot, far side, Matias Telstrom. That one gloved by Trevor McCucci, and we get another quick stop and play. 134 left in regulation. Again, face off to the far side. Levesque wins that one back to the corner. Maratea able to slide it forward, but knocked down. Wolves get it right back again. Turning with it, back in and missed on the far side. Michael Mann streaking in. He and Moscow get tangled up, and we're going to get a penalty here. And it's touched up. Watertown's going to get a power play for the final minute 20 of the period. Parker Moscow ends up hauling down Michael Mann behind the play. And... He'll get called for high sticking. So Moscow's going to sit down with 120 left. Well, we're knotted up at five apiece. 120 left. Wolves will have a power play for the remainder of regulation. They get an offensive zone faceoff, but controlled by. Telstrom goes all the way around the backside. Got it out to Mercurio. Back down deep into uh, Matt Brown. Brown back to Mercurio. Mercurio back to Brown. Far side. He'll skate in the face-off circle. Tried to put it in front. That got knocked down by Payne. Brown will control. Has to wheel on the half board there. Had it poked along. Payne able to put a stick on it, but the Wolves able to keep it in. Knocking it down was Mike Mann. Got it back on the far side. Came back to the near corner. Elijah Wilson has it. He'll go to the slot. Gave it to... Uh, Evan Carroll, Carroll with a shot that was turned to the corner. Matt Brown goes to get the rebound, gets tangled up there, 40 seconds left in the period. And we'll get a hand pass. So that'll stop the clock with 40.1 seconds left. Well, with a hand pass, we're going to get a face-off outside the zone with 40 seconds left. Watertown can, still has a power play for the remainder of the regulation here. Santino Foti skating in against Mo Levesque. That one won back to the Watertown at Wolves. Telstrom's going to step inside, plays that one all the way around the boards. Rabchek goes in to get it. He'll get tangled up far side, digging for the loose puck as Maidment, able to poke that one along. And then uh, getting it out of the zone was Mo Levesque with just 22 seconds left. 
Wolves are going to get one more rush here as Fody splits a couple of defenders, dragged it all the way through, let a shot go, big rebound out in front, and then another shot from Telstrom hit the pipe. The Wolves were that close to winning it. Puck came back one more time. Saras goes to the far side, quick shot coming. That one is covered up. Puck's down on the ice, no goal. And the game is going to come. Regulation is going to come to an end. The Wolves are arguing. They had slid it behind the goalkeeper. The puck was in the back of the net, but the official standing right there had blown the whistle and the horn had sounded at the same time. So uh, no goal. We are headed to overtime for the second time this season here in Watertown. So we get a break in the action here. We get ready to head to the overtime period. Overtime in the FPHL is three on three for five minutes. If we don't get a winner in that five minute period, we will head to a shootout. But the Wolves on a power play, so we're actually going to see four on three skating here for the next 40 seconds. Both coaches huddling up with their respective teams. Justin Coachman on the Watertown side got his guys all huddled up in a circle over there. Same thing on this side, Glenn Tamaris preaching to the guys in purple on the other side as we set up for overtime here in Watertown. Travis Smith, Watertown, returning to his goal. And at the other end of the ice, Trevor McCucci finds his way back to his goal. I mentioned it last night. I said it earlier tonight, and I will say it again. Yes, it's 5-5, five to five, but give credit where credit is due. This game could have got carried away earlier, but Trevor McCucci, just as he did last night, he's faced an onslaught of shots, over 50 shots again tonight only allowing five goals. Makuchi has been outstanding in net for the Elmira Mammoths. Four on three skating for 40 seconds here. Face off gets tipped towards the Watertown end. Ryan Saris will control the puck there, skates right in front of his old goal. Now he'll look to the near side. Got it to Rabchek. Rabchek dumps it to the offensive end, goes to the corner, gives chase there. He'll send it all the way around to the far side. Mercurio will control for Watertown on the side of the faceoff circle. Got it out to Ryan Saris. Back to Mercurio on the far side. Mercurio handles it back to Ryan Saris. Saris fakes, sends it to the near side. Big blast from Matias Telstrom. Turned aside by Makuchi. This one right back to the slot again. Saris had it, tried to get it deep to the corner. Penalty is over. So Moscow jumps on the ice. He'll stay on. We'll go four for, till four till we get a stoppage in play. Moscow has it near side, tangled up with Matias Telstrom. He'll get it to Mo Levesque. Levesque's just going to lift it out of the zone, down the ice. Mercurio has to go back, pick it up, sends it cross ice to Rabchek. Rabchek sends that one back to Ryan Saris. Saris looks to skate out, had it hit the skate of Hamilton, couldn't clear the zone, does get it across ice this time, came to Evan Carroll, Carroll down the left-hand side, drags it to a stop, just at the top of the face-off circle, Penning, centering pass, hit a skate, Elijah Wilson picks it up, near side, lets a shot go, that goes off the pad of Trevor Makuchi, he'll drop down, cover that one up, we'll get a stoppage in play. Well, now with the stoppage, we will get our three-on-three -three skating for the next three minutes, 41 seconds, unless somebody scores here. Elijah Wilson to the face-off circle for Watertown, won it through his legs. Giving chase will be Matt Brown. Brown controls it all the way around, comes back out towards the blue line, send it cross ice to Trevor Lord. That got tipped on the way through. Lord deep into the zone, goes all the way around the back of the goal and swings out towards the blue line. He'll turn all the way back, comes right through the slot. Let's just stop going, scores! Trevor Lord will net his 
first Watertown goal, and they'll win in overtime. Trevor Lord, a beautiful blast from about 18 feet out to the left Eagles five hole on the goalkeeper, Trevor McCucci, and Watertown will hold on to win in overtime. Well, for the second time this year, Watertown goes to overtime, and for a second time, they're going to score the winner as Trevor Lord nets his first Watertown goal to pick up the win for Watertown here this evening. Well, Amiro will get on the board first here tonight. Isaiah Crawford at 140 of period number one. Slides one to the back of the goal, assisted by Parker Moscow. That made it one to nothing in favor of the Mammoth. Santino Fodi, though, would get one back just a little under a minute later on an even strength effort. Tied it up at one goal apiece at 2.14. Elmira would get their second goal of the game. My apologies, my. Computer's uh, not playing along all of a sudden here. Isaiah Crawford would net his second goal of the game. That came at 12-21 of the period, assisted by Sam Haletsi and by Parker Moscow, making it 2-1. to one. And then Parker Moscow nets a goal right at the 17-minute mark, assisted by Matt Bazard and Noah Wild. That made it 3-1 to one in favor of the Elmira Mammoth. The Wolves were able to get one back at 17-59 of the period as Michael Mann would take a beautiful pass from Santino Fodi, sliding it to the left side of the goal and beating Trevor McCucci. That made it 3-2 to two in favor of Elmira, and that's the way period number one would end. Period number two, just 2.17 in. Santino Fodi will net the goal, assisted by Michael Mann and Travis Smith as Fodi gets his second of the night. That would knock the game up at three goals apiece. Rocco DiCostanzo would get a power play goal at 13.08 of the period. The Wolves took their first lead of the game at 4-3. He was assisted by Matt Brown and by 